And we are live, Colin. Live, 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 live. Live. Strike a pose. See? Strike a pose. We are far we can't play any kind of 80s music, or else we get flagged and it'll be shut down. So that'll be the yeah. one thing that's missing tonight. No 80s music, but I will sing every 80s song you request. And I will do all of the 80s TV show theme songs. There you go. And leave us a comment. And let's see who was it. Was Cottle 37 was commenting at five past eight. We're like, oh, geez, get a life. What is he? Go outside or something. Look, get some fresh air. <laughs> and Pedro. You, Carl, joking. Oh, Suits Kenny. Always. You got this. Always good to see you, Suits Kenny. After Best luck tonight to Cuddles, Sean, Aiden, Ronan, and Trudy. Cuddles going for the two in a row. And hello to you. Um, so it's Kenny. He's already got a request for you to sing. Dearest. Nothing's going to change my love for you. Great song. You want to know by now how much I love you. One thing you can't be sure of. That's enough. It's a great song. Um, hey, guys. What's the story? Paul Cousins in the house. Did your wife let you out again, Paul? To let him in, <laughs> he's still out in the garage. Can I come in? Can I come in? Can I come in? I was just, I'm just finishing these tenders. Um, right, we'll be kicking off this quiz. We're hoping to kick off this quiz at uh, nine o'clock, depending yeah. on how things go. And um, if warned. things be are warned. running not so smooth, we will delay it. People panicked last week and we had to refund a lot of people, but they couldn't stay on for long. So we appreciate that. We understand we that. It starts a little bit later. But we do uh, want to make sure that everyone and the vast majority of people have a decent experience. And we don't want to be going up against the, uh, the you know, when, when things aren't going our way. We, we, it's best to make sure that you get the best experience. And yes. that means if delaying, we'll do it. Hey, lads, on 80s shows tv songs airwolf has to be up there would you believe paul McGrath? would you believe you should watch a guy called dr mix i watched him there recently of dr mix i'm subscribed to him on youtube he remade the whole airwolf team um over three different videos i watched the whole thing it goes on for like four hours but it was so good the uh, the main actor i can't is it michael van or no jan michael vincent i think is his name was it if i'm not mistaken he had a terrible life after it's poor fella fell oh, in really hard times in mcmahon howdy lads how are you lads lovely article in the echo patch you're famous we knew nothing about it and what about well, me? I, to be honest i did an interview have a re- <laughs> it was pure gibberish i was talking because i had no idea because it was kind of all over the place and, and then he said I all. forgot that it was happening, and then somebody goes, somebody even sent me a message, and uh, you realize you're in the echo. So uh, also, I, Amy, I was in it too. Thanks very much. I call me, I call somewhere in there as well. He, yeah, just about. All aboard. Oh, aboard. Eddie, Eddie Finnegan is in house. Eddie Hello, Finnegan. Eddie. He was a regular for the eighties night. I think Eddie was. We have a couple of people in from the Electric Dreams eighties night, which I I miss, and I will be honest with you. I'm going to do an eighties night. A, a quarantine 80s night we've got we've figured out a way of doing it without actually breaking the law so we now have our own um what's it called mixed cloud mixed cloud mixed yeah. cloud so we're i'm going to do an 80s night and it's going to have good sound it's going to be stream live you'll be able to see it and it'll be all done legally and you'll be able to you know we, i'll do it for free i don't care we'll have a bit of fun we'll, we'll have an electric dreams 80s night and you'll be able to do it in your living room jillian lee's then she said miss them so much i know they're missing so much of that stuff jillian um we missed them too. Unfortunately, the, the places that we liked to do them was large venues and they kept closing down to survive. <laughs> they kept closing down with our money inside there. <laughs> with our um, money. Sean Newman is saying nine o'clock start. Sean, we're going to try and start at nine o'clock. Um, Be warned. No, we are doing our best. If if question one doesn't work very well, we're going to t- relax a little bit and we're not going to push it out too fast. We'll take a little break. And just let people know, because a lot of people come in on last minute going, how do I get tickets? Tickets are still on sale. If you look in the description of the video on Facebook and on YouTube, you will see there's a link to the tickets. The tickets are going to sit for another 10 minutes. We will stop selling the tickets then. You will receive an email at 20 to 9. 20 to 9. Or knowing Eventbrite, 5 to 9. People are having problems buying the tickets today. I contacted Eventbrite. They said, oh, we don't know what the problem is. Seems to be fine. But a load of people messaged me saying they find it very hard to buy the tickets. So we may be switching ticket uh, 
sellers next week. Uh, Niall Ginty, I'm in, lads. I just get better. I just better go and do the dishes first. Do Ginty, go do the dishes. You plenty of time. You have 40 minutes, actually 39 minutes to get the dishes done, Ginty. Uh, Laszlo. Laszlo. I think Laszlo needs a Laszlo. Laszlo. Do I have an air horn? I you should do. I should have not. Laszlo. There you go. That's just for Laszlo. <laughs> hey guys. Thanks for dinner. Yeah, Thanks for dinner. 40 minutes. 40 minutes it's just us now going to be chatting about the 80s for the next 40 minutes i we're gonna let's have a bit of fun let's talk about your favorite 80s shows your favorite 80s sweets your favorite 80s songs your favorite 80s movies it back to snacks doesn't it call him do, do, do you hope you enjoy that laszlo there's a lot of effort when... <laughs> i got, got an the error cap. message on event right and Give got an email cap. at the same time to say my purchase was confirmed yeah see lauren that's what's happening that is what's happening lauren did i meet you today I think Lauren's said uh, you might have been the person that came up to me today. You know, Crowley's butchers. butchers in the butchers. Happy Friday, lads! Looking forward to another good night. Thank you, Michael Guiney. Is that? I, I still want to know: Is he the Michael Guiney? <laughs> the Michael Guiney. Are you the Michael Guiney? Are you the, the Michael, Guiney? Michael Guiney? We'll never know. You did, yeah. You did, yeah. Hello, Lauren said hello to me there in the butchers today. Stalker, talk she, about. She can look. She got, nice, she got a nice toasted sandwich there. Look good. To be in honest, I got a rolls, and I said, "Yeah, whatever rolls." Bad choice by me. Very bad choice. In a butcher's. It was or Crulies. They have a little deli. Ah, uh, it's fancy butchers. Fancy. That's not a butcher's. I see uh, you're running for the essentials, Pat. Toasted. <laughs> I was passing it to pick up my wife some lunch. I was inside in Super Value anyway. And I was in Boots. Move it on. Move it on. Just get home. Move on. Just just move on. Move so it anyway, on. back to me being in the Echo. Michael Guy needs no relation. No this is... What a this farce. Is, we thought we were in royal. We thought we were in the presence of royalty. What? Fake. Fake, fake Michael Guyney. Which, you know, which I did. The, 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 the shop's the fake Michael Guyney. Um, boom, 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 boom. So, as I said, you've got about another seven minutes to buy a ticket if you want to buy a ticket. Um, an email will be sent out. Sorry to disappoint you. Never disappoint with Michael. You're fine. Um, and <laughs> yeah, email will be sent People can see him. The which? The what? The what? The email, the email will be sent out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the name of Mr. T's girlfriend? April Fools. <laughs> no, she was in the Turtles. Yeah, I was in there. Dude. 80s jokes, right? I'm googling 80s jokes. 80s favorite 80s movie of all time. Sutti Kenny wants to know. Oh, how much yours? I, I don't know. It's very hard to pick because, like, I like action and then I like adventure and then I like comedy. Favorite like... comedy from the 80s. I, I don't know if you remember a film. It was called Ordinary People. I think it was. Called, hold on, was it Ordinary People? Not ordinary people. Colum, why would someone want to have a DeLorean as a second car? So they could drive one from time to time. Ah, very good. I like that. It's more clever than it is funny. Uh, I'm trying to think of Danny DeVito with him and Beth Midler. Colum, what kind of beer does Indiana Jones drink to reinforce his courage? Oh, Rolling Rock. Um, ruthless people. Sorry, I, I got mixed up there. Call them ruthless people. <laughs> What's Madonna's favorite sauce? Hollandaise. Celebrate. <laughs> These are horrific. Oh my god. Um. So my favorite comedy film. Yes. Is, is ruthless people. I saw it when I was a kid. It's. It's. A, it, it, I shouldn't have watched it when I was a kid. But it was rented. My parents watched it. There was one scene, all right, that was we were told not to watch, and we had to fast forward. But it's actually brilliant. It's so so good. Your one uh, Judge Reinhold is in it as well, and the girl who played um, Supergirl in the film. You remember Supergirl the film? Yes, the blondie girl. She didn't much after. Well, you're. What's wrong with Bonnie? What's wrong with Bonnie Tyler's? 
I'm just going to say to this person, just after joining us, my first time doing the quiz, what did you say about the email? Is it going out soon or have I missed it? Uh, Lee Shai. Lee Shai? I'm going to say Lee Shai. Lee Shai? Lee Shai. Lee Shai. Lee We always ruin people's names. <laughs> um, email we sent out at 20 to 9. So 20 to 9. But it said, if anybody's having trouble, to make it easier for people, if you can just message me on uh, Facebook page. On the Facebook page, if you message uh, Patrick Hearn Entertainment, your majority of you are kind of watching on either YouTube or Facebook. You know where the Facebook page is because I get messages through email that I don't see afterwards. Some people WhatsApp me. Some people send me actual text messages. Uh, messages through Instagram. It's all over the place. So just through the Facebook page, if you could just drop me a message if you're having trouble. If not, we'll, uh, we'll try and sort you out. That's the, the, the music got very loud there. It's getting louder and louder and louder. It's just good. I'll take it down again. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Look. There you go. My favorite action film, Die Hard. Oh, yeah. That means. Um, what would be my favorite 80s comedy? So you get movies in the comedies that fall. Like, Back to the Future was funny, too. Like, yeah, but that's more of a kind of an adventure film. Like, you could put that in Goonies side by side, and then you've got to decide between Goonies and Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Yeah, easily, any day of the week. <laughs> Goonies. Are you going to say it's overrated? It's not overrated. It's a good, fun film, but I think... It, do you know what? If you go back and watch the Goonies, you go... Uh -huh. if you go back and watch Back to the Future, you go... Yeah, it's still yeah, good. It's still good. still holds up. Talk. It's the music. The music in that film is incredible. Uh, Judge Reinhold. Is that the dude from Beverly Hills Cop? It is indeed. That's the best. Can name? you just ask me that again? Uh, oh. <laughs> I just saw the, the Bonnie Tyler one from Paul Cusson. Yeah, I, I saw that Bonnie too. Tyler GPS. It keeps telling me to turn around. Turn around. Um, That's a good question. I should have put it into the quiz. Yes. What was, was John Hyde Reinhold's name in? Um, I think one of the the, the body guy was called Taggart, and it was Taggart and something or other. Now Ginty said, "Hear no evil, see no evil." I haven't watched that since the eighties. I think someone says Who the Cosby needs... Show. Who knew? The Cosby, show. <laughs> Cosby Show. Who knew? That's not funny. Uh, I laughed. It's not funny, and I should be ashamed of myself. Um, oh, God, that's the best Rosewood shuffle. He was Rosewood. Hey, Rosewood, we got to talk. It was bad. Sorry. It was. Billy Rosewood, yeah. Looking forward to this one, Jenny. Again, look at them. They're talking to each other amongst themselves. What's going on here, like? Hi, Daily. First cinema visit. Who framed Roger Rabbit in the PAV where HMV was? Steamroller scene gave me nightmares. Talk when his eyes popped out. About his, hip, his whole face melting. You know, remember, his eyes were popping out of his head as well. He was like, I need your brother, Eddie. Lethal weapon. I'm too old for this shiz. Yeah, the Lethal Weapon 1 that we saw like back then had a load of scenes in it that don't exist anymore in any versions that I've ever seen afterwards. Well, speaking of which, Colm, did you watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine? I haven't seen the new one. Okay. I have, I have no... Watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine will get the reference there by Bart. Their, uh, I have no legitimate reason. I have no legitimate way of watching it. Legitimate way. Okan's hot chocolate is like drinking the ashes of your deceased great-great-grandfather who doing her prove me wrong. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, Barry O'Flynn. Get out of us, Barry O'Flynn. Because I was on about how O'Connell's chocolate is the best. I buy bags of it. Well, I Did used were... to. They were open. My first trip to the cinema was to see Care Bears, the movie. I remember seeing... Um... Sorry. No Brooklyn Nine-Nine spoilers. We're at E4 pace. What? Get on to Netflix. 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 Netflix is about a season behind. It is, yeah. They're on season you seven. Illegal sources. Illegal Shh. sources. They can't see my mouth. They don't know what I'm on about. Illegal no. so anybody could be saying this. Somebody could have uh illegal sources. And I saw Santa Claus the movie as well. And I remember going into Care Bears the movie. I think Santa Claus was the first one I saw. And we were on the balcony level, and there was people smoking up there at a kids' film. Like the amount of smoke inside in a cinema at the time. And I, I so that was my first time going to the cinema and remembering people smoking. But then I went to a film where the last day you could smoke in the cinemas was, and it was Fast and the Furious. I went to see Fast and the Furious during the day, and there was a guy in front of me smoking a cigar, trying to get his last fag in in the cinema. 
What? Yeah. They were still smoking in the cinemas then? Yeah. No way. Yep. Oh my God. I remember I went to see Santa Claus the movie in the capital. Oh, it was the capital. And then I think we were down West Cork and we went to see Ghostbusters. And for the life of me, I was never so frightened at the very start of the movie. I cried my eyes out. Oh, yeah. Uh, when the very start, the ghost start going, no. Shh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And now the stuff oh, 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 chills. Oh, chills. Uh, I was 38 when I found out Judge Reinhold wasn't actually a judge. <laughs> but Judge Judy is his mother. Am I correct? <laughs> no one both. <laughs> no, Niall. No. He got his own show right in uh, Arrested Development, wasn't it? Judge Reinhold. Who are you going to call? Judge Reinhold. Um, uh, Barry, Barry O'Flynn saying, that's not Barry O'Flynn. Not Barry O'Flynn at fakeaccount.gov.ie. <laughs> I love that it's a government account. <laughs> right. Just in, case you, just in case you first join us, okay? Um, we're, this is, if you've never done the quiz before and this is your first time uh, joining my seven pat, who's above me, tickets I'm are called, finished. Tickets are finished now for being sold. So if you have bought a ticket, you'll get a tech, you'll get an email in the next eight minutes. So we just wait till it all compiles together and we don't want to put pressure on the system and we just want Eventbrite to kind of settle down. Then we'll sell out the uh, send out an email and that will have your code and it'll have the links that you need to get to the stuff. It's very, very easy. If you're watching us here on the stream, uh, you'll be going to a link for on a second device. So your primary device is for answering and then the second device, which you're watching on us now, will be for watching the live stream. And um, the live stream is more always always fa faster on YouTube. And we are on Facebook as well. But I would advise if you can to watch us on the YouTube channel as the YouTube channel is normally about an eight second today, which I'm going to check right this second. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to you'll see me clap and then I'll tell you to tell you the exact amount of the delay that we're going to be working with. Uh, I'm just da -da -da -da. Checking on this. Uh, it is a short enough delay it's only about nine seconds to ten seconds tonight but it will be around 20 20 seconds plus on uh, facebook so if you can set up a laptop where you've got uh, two browser tabs and one on one side and one on the other where you've got the youtube stream and then you can answer your questions on the other tab or set us up to a smart tv or send us to a chromecast or watch us on a laptop and do the quiz on your phone or whatever way you can do it if you have two devices that's the way to do it if you are registering a team to join into the quiz remember and if you if you if you've got more than one device if you want to, sorry if you've got more than one team purchase so if you bought multiple tickets you must use a different email address you'll get the same code but you must use a different email address for each of those uh entries so if, if you've got three devices and you've got three people or you bought three tickets use three different email addresses so we can distinguish your team from another team if you use the same email address and one team answers the question it'll lock you out from answering because the computer will accept the answer based on that email address so make sure that's the only thing you've got to do if you've got more than one ticket is to make sure you're using um, a different email address for each device that you've got registered other than that the quiz normally starts around nine o'clock when when i say nine o'clock about five past nine we start giving you the first questions we'll do uh there's 80 questions we're going to do 20 um we're going to do 20 questions and then we're going to take a break, 20 questions, break, 20 questions, break. And then we're going to do the last 20, show you the overall scoreboard, and we will announce the winners. Um, other than that, go to the uh, go, go get a snack, go to the uh, toilet, and make dinner. Oh, that's people have already All done it. Snacks. Go out for a bit of fresh air. Or indeed, just type away in the live streams here on Facebook or on the YouTube channel, and we can, um, we can converse and we can talk. So, yeah, I, I will also tell you that last week there are one or two other companies that are after starting doing quizzes now as well uh, and it puts uh pressure on the system that we're using we've tried to reduce the numbers we've had a, we had the problem in the past ourselves and we found that it was after causing trouble so we reduced our numbers to try and keep things going on but unfortunately other team uh, other people don't understand that now and they're overloading the system so if that happens we will um we'll have to just delay the start of the quiz so if that's an issue and you can't wait until 10 o'clock to get the on the to get the ball rolling um we will refund your money you just have to ask for it but we will notice if you have answered all the questions and ask for a refund afterwards we can see all the user data so don't try and pull the wool over eyes on that one but we, we will be totally yeah, understand. We tried it. um bart was robocop a crappy remake i never saw that one it was I like a television it. pilot that's what it was like it was like a television pilot for a new show it, yeah, was, it, was, it was very tame very tame 
Fraggle Rock is back. Do, 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 uh, right, I when guess what, Colin. Me? Guess what, Event Sprite's doing. See if you can guess. Purging or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's currently queued. All the emails are queued. So I went ahead and tried to send them a little bit early, but they're queued, so they should be coming to you in the next by four minutes. In about twenty to nine, you should be getting emails. Yes, um, YouTube is the fastest way to watch us. Someone so yeah. Yeah, watch us on YouTube and answer on a separate device or uh, in a second tab. If you're if you're if you're that way technically advanced that you can open two tabs at the same time and have them on the same uh, on the screen at the same time. Wow, Era, a refund, my bum. It's all fun. Mazni one two three. I love you. But the comments on Facebook are better. Yeah, you can still have a third tab open with Facebook and be at <laughs> your tab. Or some people have actually, I've seen people with three devices where it's on the smart TV, they're, they're answering on the laptop and then using their phone to, 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 to type stuff into Facebook. Emails have not been sent yet. Uh, 22. I said, they're in a queue at the moment to be sent. We are definitely getting rid of Eventbrite next week. Hear that, Eventbrite? Hear that, Eventbrite? Mr. Eventbrite? Please tell Darren I'm worried about my kitchen. What's going on in the kitchen? Rachel, tell us. Send us photographs. Jess McGrath. Lovely. We'll let you know when the when the emails are going out. Because we'll be doing the whole, take your spam, take your folder, take your... Take, take every dog house out, house. That's the 90s, Pat. Uh, Sinead has... I have three screens going here. Oh, fancy, Sinead. Look at three you. Ooh, it's fancy. It's technology. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Just gonna do a refresh and event bright again. Boom, 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 boom. Let's right. see. Oh, Sorry if I uh, be quiet for a second. We, we go just... quiet from time to time. We a lot of people are sending messages and stuff like that to us, and we try our best to reply to them as as they come in. And also, uh, from time to time, a child might walk into my room um, asking, can I finish off one of his levels on uh, Mario? Mario, to yes. Mario So if, if I have to stop and beat Bowser for the 50th oh. time. I got a message there to say, message emails to attendee in. of Pat and Colm's Big 80s quiz. Yep, it's email's been sent. Email sent. So email if you sent. And check your folders. Everything. It may take a little longer for some web servers to, to, to send it out. So check your folders. Um, four people in already. Five people. So people are starting to get the email now. Emails in. Gillian Lee. Well done. Uh, Jess McGrath, check your email. Check your um, folder. If you're having problems, you don't see your email, refresh it. Check your spam. Check your other folder. If not, I can go in, make sure that you bought a ticket, and send you uh, your code, if needs be. I'm just going to go back in here. How was everybody's week anyway? People working at home, or what are you doing? Yeah, let's know. Are, are, you, are you sitting down binge-watching 80s TV and stuff like all weekend? I watched, uh, the, I think it's called The Last Dance, the one about the Chicago Bulls on Netflix. It's only two episodes, another two. They're they're dragging out. It's like real. You have to wait. You have to wait like another three days to see the next episode. It's good though. Worth to watch, Colm. You'd actually love it. What's this? Uh The Last Dance, the Chicago Bulls thing on Netflix. All right. Okay. Uh Rachel Dole, he's behind me trying to make a pizza from scratch. <sighs> Rachel, we need photograph. We need to see a photograph. I have a buddy uh who makes pizzas. Uh, for a living as well uh, if you're celebrating a birthday tonight and you want to embarrass someone or you know someone who's celebrating a birthday tonight, send us photographs we have Dude. no problems and we don't care and we will stick them up on the screen so send them to pat in the background when someone goes to the toilet and then when they get back and they sit down all of a sudden pat and Colm are putting their really embarrassing picture non-nudes only by the way this is tr we try and keep this as uh, our p's and q's under under watch while uh, we do the quiz as sometimes there are families paying and a few kids here and there uh, who are allowed to stay up a little later because of the whole no school ever um 
ever. So I understand that as well. So if I, I, I hope the young family are there. I haven't heard from the young family. I'm getting worried. If the young family are here, come on. Uh, have it, Jess McGrath. Uh, if we work, if we printer, we can call Bob Marley. It's always jamming. Very good. Oh, pause, uh, just, just, but no instructions. James, uh, no, no instructions for James Duggan. Right. The instructions are as this. Uh, have you got? Have you got a link to the oh, thing? The instructions are. Uh, yeah, to scroll down. Like if you say it says hello from Patton Column. Here's your instructions on how to participate in tonight's. Oh, we said naughties. Meant to say eighties. And you scroll down. And it gives you instructions. Make sure that's the right one. Right code. Yes. And also, people are joining. We have 109 people in. Where do we send pics? Rachel, send them here. Uh, or you're on YouTube. Um, I'll give you the page. Uh, hold on. I've got the um, Gmail account. Or in, info at livequiz.ie. I can, I can take it. And then I have to access it. And you have to send it on to me. I'm trying to yeah, avoid. I can, I, can, I can just send it on to the... Oh, I forgot the password. <laughs> Leave it off, Colin. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the password. That's brilliant. I know what the password is. Isn't it? I'll figure it out later on. Uh, so yeah, just send it to you. Yep, send it to me on the page there. On the Facebook, the Facebook page. Facebook. Right. So, what's the guy who said? Hey, guys. Uh, who said who couldn't find the instructions? James Doggan. James Duggan, send me a message if you can find it. Uh, James, J did, you, did you did you click on James James Corcoran there? To, to stick his one up there. It's a special request. Oop, I'm just going to pop it there. Hey, guys, it's can you wish my fiance Lorraine, Lorraine down me a very happy birthday for tomorrow? Please, guys, looking forward to having you at our wedding next year. That is... Are you getting <laughs> married on the first? Was oh, this the New Year's Day one? Yes, I think it is. Would that not be... There's a plan B in the making. Evening, uh, lads. Nigel Cotter, shout out to the other Thunderstruck crew out there. Mm, someone stole their name. Samantha White says, happy <laughs> Friday. Fart, come on. Everyone should keep checking junk along with the Bitcoin and send money to the Congo. You may find your event email. So Jenny oh. Sullivan says, no one has access to the account. I did, but I had to log out of my Gmail earlier on to help my wife with some sort of email thingy for UCC. Um, and I've forgotten the password now to log back in. It's always automatic. I've logged into my own one, but I haven't logged into the uh, the other one in the background. So, yeah. There you go, Jenny. You didn't need to know my IT problems. Lads, will you tell Kelsey she is not getting two covers for her phone? Get a job. That's from John O'Mahony. Fair enough. Jeez, John. <laughs> my God, John. Hi, Katie and Killian family in Cross Common. Cross Common in the house. Uh, September 2021, James Corcoran says, Pat, have you got someone booked in <laughs> that? And am I playing with you? Because it's not. Uh, it doesn't sound familiar to me. September 2021. No doubt you have. You don't. You have. I have. I messaged you about everything. Yeah. yeah. And you always say to me, then I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. In the yeah. diary. I just, I just go do it. I just go do it. I turn up, just slap myself in the face and get out there and do it. If you, if, you, if you, like, unfortunately, during the week, Independence got cancelled as well uh, due to this. I don't know why, um, but some some strange reason it got cancelled. Uh, so if you, some of us, some of you out there might recognise us or know us from uh, Independence we, we and, and a few other festivals and things around the place. We do 80s versus 90s. Uh, Rina, can you... Where do I put this code? Uh, Gladys, it's in the email. Um... So if you I'll, go... I'll put it. Yeah, Is if you go to crowd.live on, on your second device, crowd.live, you enter your code there. Then you'll have to enter your name, your surname, your city, and you'll have to also give us an email address. If you've got more than one ticket, the same code will work for those, but you will need to enter a separate email address so that we can tell you apart. Can you give a big shout out to James Brennan celebrating his 40th birthday today, watching from Castle Magnor? No, I have to know where Castle, where Castle Magnor is. Column last to find. Column Google's places. It's in Cork. Park. Castle Magnor is Ballyhas Lakes, Cantork. It's out by Cantork between Mallow and Cantork. To be all honest, I'd never heard of it before, and I should probably should be ashamed of myself. I'm I'm looking at it there now on Google Street Map. 
there's a little pub there right in the middle it's 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 four it's four little things there's food store it's got the word food store written on it hold on oh it's not a food store anymore no it looks like it's after being closed down ah uh, look and goffs is it i think is the name of the no Niall Ginty saying no email sent. Niall, did you check your junk? Um, I know Niall Ginty though, so I can jump in. Yeah, it looks like it might have closed down. But Goff's got a nice, uh, or Kyoff's, I don't know how they say it, got a nice makeover and it's got lovely flowers on the window. Oh, hold up. I've gone down the road a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Colm's <laughs> driving down the road. Driving down the road. <laughs> I, I can't go there. The Castle Magna Community Centre is there. And of course, they've got the the old heart thingy outside as well. So just in case you're ever there, it's done by the Community Centre. Fair enough. Now you all know. Right, just for a uh, pizza update. Do, 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 do. We got it from Rachel. Rachel sent us in uh, on the pizza update. Uh, hold up. Where's the pizza update? There you go. There's the pizza. Pizza dough is being made at the moment. Odlum's being used very fancy and well, we'll be getting updates on the pizza i see schweppes over there as well they must be having gin and tonics oh uh, must be um whoever doesn't have um an email if you want to send us a message on the thing ah, on uh, facebook kayla bain i knew i recognized you from somewhere was at Indy two years ago, and I dropped my phone down a concrete wall. We remember hearing about you dropping your phone into oh, a concrete God. wall. Are you serious? Is that the part I remember that. Do do. That was the year I crowd surfed, and I nearly killed the front row of poor young sixteen and eighteen year old girls. Um, Lyle Ginty, no email yet. Rena Conniff, no email yet. If you don't get an email within the next three minutes, do check your junk folder. Check other mail. Check junk spam. Spam. Check promotion. Right, so a lot of places like Google and Yahoo and Outlook put that in as junk because we send out all the emails at the same time. So check. Uh, if not, send a message on Patrick Hearn Entertainment. You will see it here. I'm posting the link here. Um, there you go. So send me a private message there, and I can check your email, see if a purchase is made, and then I can send you on... Um, do it fast. Do it fast because in 12 minutes we are going to start kind of getting into quiz mode. We're going to get into quiz mode. I, I was just looking at the houses in around that area. My God, they opened that house. <laughs> <You> still... <laughs> Creeping. The house at the front of the estate there is is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Me meadow, 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 meadow Bank, I think it's called. Yeah, Meadow Bank. One Meadow Bank. That's drug See, money. Stuff said, ticket was in spam this week for some reason. All you sorted. See? It's in the See, spam. Sometimes you get it every week and then. Yoohoo! Is it still going? I'm trying to bird. Um, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Funny part of it is that I was recording a video and it's and I still have the video of it. So were you recording <gasps> us on the video or were you recording yourselves and then you dropped it down? You were sitting up on the wall, I think, were you? In a very safe way. No, not at all. Yahoo! Uh, oh, Yahoo. Pizza. Get rid of pizza. Right, 10 minutes to go. How many teams in, Pat? And we have... Sorry, they're trying to start a lot of messages for people. 300 teams in. 300 teams in. Well, we still got a lot to go, do we? Yeah. You tell me there in the old private if you want to how many teams we're expecting. Um, sorry there. Tell My wife what? told me I had to buy two covers. I'm not allowed to talk to you anymore. Thanks a lot, Pat. <laughs> You're the one that made us say it, John. Right. Uh, so if you just did join us, we are going to be getting underway around nine o'clock. Between nine and five past nine, we can give you the whole rundown of how everything works one last time. And about five past nine, the first set of questions will start popping up on your phone. There are some other quizzes, unfortunately, using the same software that we are at the moment, and it could overload the system. So we will try our best to make sure that it doesn't cause too much of an issue. So uh, if it does, we are going to pause and we're going to just have a bit of fun. So.
And then what we'll do is we'll do our best to make sure that the quiz runs off. If there's any issue and you, you find that it's going to be too late, um, that's okay. We, we, we will refund you. Uh, Die Hard was the 80s. Are we going to get an Alan Rickman impression? Alan Rickman. <laughs> uh, I thought you're getting it. Audrey um, McDonnell, check your email spam. And if you don't get it in the next minute, get back or check your spam. Check your other mail as well. Check promotion. It's somewhere there. And if you don't have it, get on to Pat right now. Send him a message on Facebook. Uh, you can you can talk to him through his Facebook page there. Patrick Ahern. I'm currently uh, looking. You send me in your email and say, I have not yeah. received a ticket. This is my email that I purchased it with. Can you please uh, send me... Um, Bum, bum, bum. Two seconds, yeah. uh, James Comer says, shout out to the Comers and the gang in the green. Big fans. Pat, the orange hoodie is uplifting in these dark times. That's from Roisin. It's red. So Larkin, yeah, about five past nine. If there's a delay, we will do our best. I'm actually going to go and check to see how things are going. <laughs> so they're hoping to be finished around 10 o'clock anyway um if anyone if anyone is watching them just let us know i know a few people were last week kind of tuned into both just seeing how things were going so if you are watching them let me know uh doo -doo 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 -doo. oh I sent you a private message there, Colin, that uh, a good customer of ours sent us something. <laughs> um, oh. Shout out to Louise and Terry Max Sweeney's who are entering the Chelsea Garden Show this year. What? Is that real? Is that And is it going ahead? I suppose. The what, what, what? what? The Chelsea Gardening Show from Walter Pandini won. He says, shout out to Louise and Terry McSweeney who are entering the Chelsea Garden Show this year. Is that, is that a real thing? <laughs> is it, are they actually doing it? Sharing is caring, lads. Ashling Desmond. I'm not 40, says James Brennan. <laughs> uh, anybody who... Buy a ticket? Wait, my, I, I cleared up my um, messages there now at the moment for a few people who couldn't get an email. If you can't find your email... I'm just going to put it into the chat here again quickly. Boom. That is the Facebook page. If uh, you're watching on uh, Facebook or YouTube, message me and message me with your email address because I can check the ticket and send you on your own code then that way. And that'll be me ready to go. Totally orange. It's not orange. I can kind of prove it to you. And this might turn a few people off. It's, it's a Liverpool top. It is red. Uh, Dave is saying Sorry. no email yet, lads. Dave, check Dave, message me and message Pat right now with your email address. <laughs> we should have bingo cards for these quizzes. Tom Cruise, these people died. In which year? Intro themes, one answer questions. In which year? Someone wrongly disagrees with an answer. <laughs> right. And I will tell you, I don't think there's a Tom Cruise uh, answer in there tonight or a question. What? Uh, it, I, 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 no, no one, I don't think, actually died, but there is an assassination one. Uh, intro themes, there is none. One answer questions, there are none. In which year, there's a few. And someone wrongly disagrees, more than likely, but I have double-checked all the answers. So that's the best we can do. And it's our decision is final. If you disagree with it, What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just doing your thing. <gasps> All right. My dramatic you were, pause. You're looking at your phone. I was like, oh my God, he's got bad news. Oh, I'm, double, I'm acting and doing work at the same time, Colin. Ah. So, so say it again. What we say is final. Pat, Pat, do you want to yep. give him some news while we've got five minutes? Do you want to tell him some, uh, 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 while we've got their attention uh, now? Two seconds. Will Shut I do up. it now? Yeah. Shout out to Debbie and Brian from Graw and Stevo, uh, which are, they're watching via YouTube and don't have Facebook. Well, fair enough. I received an email. But well, I wouldn't have Facebook, except I need it for work. It's so boring, Facebook. 
James Duggan says, I was receiving an email and wasn't able to see the email on my phone, was able to open it on my laptop just to let people know. And then breaks okay. into a kind of an issue tonight. If you're finding that there's nothing in the email, check it on some another device i'm really sorry about that and unfortunately it is a vent is causing this trouble but again that's on us we're using them as our, our, our thing we're going to try and uh, change it up a little bit we'll change it next uh, week next week unfortunately we have another event so we do we do yeah, it's short notice but we're going to do it anyway it's 25 years since the show started so oh la 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 um, yes indeed we're going to be doing this Sunday what Sunday time night. Uh, mm. we're going to be doing the same time we do this one so um, if you want to participate we'll be we're going to sell tickets for this one too it's, we know it's only going to be small and you, you don't want to have to double up on doing quizzes and stuff like that but if you're a father technic you can also watch on the YouTube and Facebook uh, we will have this free to view we oh, have so a few quizzes coming up, not just this one. We've decided on a few of them coming into the future. One of them is going to be a Star Wars quiz because May the 4th, which we'll probably do on May the 4th, which is a Monday, which is yes. uh, Sunday, like Monday week. And then we're going to do a Tiger King quiz. <laughs> yes. If you know anybody who watches Tiger King and that Carol Baskin. I have ordered all the costumes. I've, I've got everything. I am, I'm going to be dressed up as every character I can possibly be dressed up as in each round. So, the Father Ted, Star Wars, um, Tiger King. And after that, we're looking at Always Sunny, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and one or two others as well. So there'll be an extra quiz dotted, not necessarily on the same day, but dotted throughout over the next few weeks, a theme. And we will let you know exactly when. And uh, so you'll have time to either get involved and, and, and figure stuff out. Oh, my God. So, 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 yeah, to be fun, somebody's waiting for the quiz and he, he's fallen asleep. I haven't gotten his name yet, but he's all turkered out. Oh, he's on the couch and he's asleep. The poor boy. That was sent in there by, uh, let's have a look, Fiona Morton. Oh, I don't know who Ramsey Bolton is. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> Hello, all you cool cats and kittens. Will you freaking start already? Getting impatient in Dubai. It's Wiz Kylie from Dubai. Hi, Wiz. Is it your, was it your anniversary there recently? Dubai. Up, Dubai. It was last month or something. Seamus Morton, I am not asleep. <laughs> well, Seamus, our evidence proves different. That looks somebody asleep. I got very excited when you said Brooklyn Nine Nine. I'm gonna do it. Um. Sorry. Right. So I was just checking everybody. I said I'm trying to go through all these messages people are sending me if they can't get in. Michael Sullivan says, found it. All good. All right. Yeah. See, for panicking. Uh, there you go, Dave O'Flynn. Message sent. And people are being nice. They're saying, instead of Googling, they're just showing me a screenshot of the email they got from uh, sending it on. So I don't have to go uh, checking. This is fairly damning, all right. Yeah, you see, Seamus. That was you asleep. Your Honor, Exhibit A. His eyes are in a closed position and face is on the pillow. <sighs> Use the wrong email for paying the quiz and don't have the password for the email, please. Tara, send me a message uh, with the email, please. The email you used to purchase the ticket. To this one. Here. Here, Tara, there's a message popping up there from me. It's nine o'clock now. We won't be starting for another five, ten minutes anyway. I said we want to make sure everybody who purchased ticket is in. We're not like other places. <laughs> Come on. Uh, what? Can't like that. nightclubs. They could off the club and like close the club and you bought a ticket and you can't get in. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Like Westlife. Yeah. David Flynn, thanks. Give me a thumbs up. People send me messages. Ooh, but pitch. Oh my God. I, I got all these pictures up at halftime. Oh, 
great that we're getting emails in now. We're getting we're getting all these things, all these me lovely messages in from people sending us pictures with their pizza and their gin and tonics. I want pizza now. Um, I'll just look up Tara's name, see if I can find her. Oh, all good. Sorted. Some people are saying to me. As I said, just trying to sort everybody out. You wouldn't like it if we started without you, would you? So uh, we're typing in. Will we see the pizza when it's finished? That's what we're hoping for. Uh, Rachel's hoping. Oh, she's uh, she said she'll send us in a an update. Uh, just for the people who have never done this before, if you purchase two tickets, the same code will work. Just use different emails when you're signing in. Um, got sorted. Tara got sorted. Thanks, Tara. Hope you get ready to have a post-lockdown party in Barcadia, lads, so we can all be like, ah, lads, great to see you in person and did the online quiz every week. It would be. Uh, I miss you. I miss people. Yeah, I miss doing actual quizzes. I we're do. Gonna I, do I, really, I honest to God, I miss, I miss people doing, I miss the face-to-face, -face, you know? I miss the face-to-face -face with people. It's very sad. Amy McMahon is saying if she see, finds pineapple on that pizza, she'd be very disappointed. <laughs> What is this? A pizza quiz? <laughs> That's from Chop. Right. So, things ain't going so smooth, I think, over in the uh, another another department somewhere else. And uh, so we've got to be very careful. If we do the first one or two questions and it doesn't go so well for us, we're not going to reset. We're just going to stop and we're going to wait a, a little while and we're going to then do it later on. We'll okay. start around 10 o'clock. What was that? We spying on some other business. No, I'm not, and I, we're not talking about that. I'm, I'm talking about something. Are you saying different. that it's not running smoothly, and that we may need to hold up a while? It, it may happen, but we've been, uh, we have been told that the servers have been expanded, and that there was extra stuff done, and people are watching it from California, California, California. Um, so Daniel Conroy, Daniel is getting very uh, impatient. Lads, what time is this actually going to start? We're going to try and start at exactly. 10 past. So the first yeah. set of questions are going to come at 10 past. No, I mean, 10. So Pat now is going to explain how the quiz works and how you should be doing the quiz. And it'll give you a few minutes to get yourself sorted and set up. Um, right. So first question is going to appear on the device that you're playing on, the one that you put the code into. That's going to appear there. All the questions are multiple choice. What you're watching here, you should be watching on a laptop or a smart TV. Um, we'll do 20 questions. They will go in a row. We will then have a break. And we'll then give you another time of when the next set of questions are going to start. Very easy. Quicker you answer, more points you get. As we said, eh, there is one or two other companies doing the same quiz at the same time. So if there is, we see any bit delays, just let us know to say, listen, have a bit of a delay, lads. And we'll, uh, we can see how it's going. A lot of times, a refresh, a refresh will work. People, a lot of people say, oh, my points aren't showing. They usually show up and we um, store all your points so even if you lose your points keep playing don't worry too much about it because right at the end we know your points if you came first we will know we can see your points yeah we can see everything like that um as i said we do this for fun 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 and we're just here to entertain so we're gonna have a bit of fun um so i said first one is gonna appear at 10 past nine My wife said she's here to uh, to hear ye slate other businesses, never mind the quiz. Uh, having ears heard, we're starting at nine, then again at five past, now ten past. Danielle, come on. We're trying to get Danielle. you everyone sorted. We're, we're trying to get everyone sorted. Everybody who buys a ticket gets in. I'm still playing last week's quiz. I haven't left. All right. <laughs> Hi to Anna Daly. Uh, she knows nothing about the 80s or surviving in a pandemic. She's uh, It's a lot of firsts for her. Poor old Anna Daly. Well, Say hi to Say hi to Gladys, who's one of the first frontline heroes. One of our frontline heroes. Apologies. Round of applause, Gladys. 
Um, we'll, get, we'll get an old man to walk around his back garden for you. We miss you too, Tequila Mockingbird, or having withdrawals. Look at that. Uh, is there any halftime show? This isn't Tuesday nights. This isn't Tuesday nights. Uh, I'll do, I'll do karaoke. I'll do 80s karaoke. John O'Manny, break it down. No 80s background. Bricks, bricks aren't very 80s unless you spray paint some graffiti on them. I think that background is very kind of game showy. That's the whole point of it. Like, And every time we put a background on it, it always like, I can't, I can't the question. Change the background. Chops. Oh, we forgot to say hello to Chops. I said hello to him, but you were too busy looking around the place. I said but Chops, you, and I even did the Chops. Right, I didn't do it. I you know I did. Uh, can I oh, use I a laptop to me. answer the questions also as open and crowd live? You can, oh, if you have, you can put YouTube on one browser tab and then open up crowd.live on the other one, enter your code and you're in. Um, Split your, so you have it halved. Darren Buckley says, come on the Bulgarian berry pickers. They're currently in quarantine, so they would actually be playing the quiz now. We've, we've sent them free codes because they, they get everything for free according to you. Uh, Chops is not down with what I got two words for you, Carol Baskin. Uh, chips can't talk there having a bit of a back and forth right there in the 1980s i fell off my bike and i cut my knee i'm telling you this because we don't have social we didn't have social media then thanks paul a uh, big shout out to john and Anne. they're using a stylus so their phone doesn't give them coronavirus that actually kind of rhymes big shout out to john and Anne. they're using a stylus so they don't get coronavirus if anything, I've got a better rap career than Vanilla Ice right that second. Um, yeah. Right, how many, people are involved? how many in? How many in? Uh, I'm going to make sure that we have... Somebody says, thanks very much. Oh, my God. My friend has... Oh, ah! I just got a load of messages all at the same time. I didn't get my message. I didn't get my thing. All right. Um, boom, 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 boom. Call him Dan. Dan's for the people. I don't want to annoy Danielle in case we delay another minute. No, it's all right. We've got, we've got two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes to start all of this out. Right. From this moment, it is two minutes. We're going... Our, we, pizza update. It's in the oven. Yeah. F <laughs> it's the pizza update. I nearly, I nearly said the bad word. Forget about the pizza. That's it. Talk to people there. So... Uh, no, I to email a few people. Two minutes. We are going to set up the first question. Are we, are we, are we, are we two minutes away, really? Yeah. Right. What about... Just so you know, there is a delay on Facebook. It's about 10 seconds, 8 to 10 seconds. On YouTube, or sorry, on YouTube, there's an 8 to second. Eight, I'll start again. What? On YouTube, there's an 8 to 10 second delay. On Facebook, there's a 20 second plus delay. So if you really want to make sure that you've got a better chance uh, to, to listen to us while we're more or less talking about the questions, that watch us on YouTube. The device that you're going to be answering with, have that ready to go because in about 30 seconds the first question is going to come up there first it will come up on your phone before we even call it out on the screen so answer it when it pops up pay attention to your phone pay attention to the device that you're answering on and type in the answer there uh then you'll hear us chatting we, we'll ask the question delayed of course on the, the the live stream and we'll give you the answers and all this kind of stuff but the questions will keep coming 20 questions in a row if there's any issue let us know in the live chat straight away and we'll pause the game and we'll wait for things to calm down. If we've got to wait until the other quiz is over, which unfortunately we might do as they have a little bit more people involved. When I say a little, a lot. Uh, they're a larger company and we do this a lot more time. Look at your phone, 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 and the team things, but we've just been so busy, lads. Hi to Valerie Ryan and Douglas playing in the next room. They're not even in the same room. Hello, Catherine and John. That's from Jason Krogh. Right. Hello. Seven seconds for you to pat. Wait a few extra seconds just in case people were kind of oh, freaking out. Of course not. Danielle is probably gone to the toilet now. She's running. <laughs> I thought I had time. Went away from me. I went away. Uh, radio. Three, two, one. And we'll yeah. see how this goes. Nobody Question. puts baby in the corner. Name the movie. Right. Here we go. Are you reading it out, Colin? Flashdance, Footloose, Dirty Dancing, or Pretty Woman. I'm just watching the live stream. I'm waiting for the live stream to flip out. It seems to be working away. Did See? I win? Yeah, you won. Working. Congratulations, you're our winner. 
Right, let's have a look. I'll do the first 10. Uh, 93% said Dirty Dancing. Nice, easy one to roll you into this quiz. Where's the intro team? Damn it. Everyone see, nothing seems to be going so bad so far. Okay, perfect. Intro team at halftime. <laughs> Question two. <laughs> Money for Nothing was the 1988 greatest hits, hits album for which rock band? Is it Van Halen, Aerosmith, Dire Straits, or Bon Jovi? Okay, I'm missing a few letters here and there. Jovi. Bon Jovi, that's meant to be. It's the yeah. wrong answer anyway, so. Later. Intro team 40, 50 times. It's not just an intro theme, it's a team for life. It's a team for life. We're actually going to send it to you as well if you want it. If you want that theme. Oh, she need help and look, the smart ass. Who's, Who's Bo Jovi? Jovi? The wrong Wait. answer, love. Wait, so, 7% did go for Bo Jovi, but it's the wrong answer. And 78% of you got it right. It is indeed. Dire Straits. Dire Straits. Question three. Which singer and songwriter was born as Michael Barrett is in 1948? So Michael mm -hmm. Barrett. Is it George Michael? Is it Brian Adams? Or is it Shaken Stevens? One of those, right? Yay, the first two questions are on my strong points. Uh, don't move away from them. Right, there is a lot of music, there is a lot of TV, and there is a lot of movie questions. There are a few historic and kind of like gadgets. Oh, people are here for the music and TV stuff. That's what they're here for, though. And a lot of those are near the end. I packed the end with films and TV. Shaken Stevens. This old house. And it is indeed Shaken Stevens. Uh, I think George was like uh, some strange Greek Papa name. Doctor. Papadopoulos yeah. or something, yeah. Uh, Sarah Dallin, Siv Siobhan Fahey, and Karen Woodward were members of which band is it? Uh, the Bangles, the Go-Go's, Bananarama, or Salt and Pepper? This seems to be running very smooth. It is. And now that you've said it, you've ruined it. I completely. And I'm having a drink of Coke. Hope everybody's having it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. why did you say it what why did you say it? why did you bring it on uh, they are the three original members of banana rama it's a crew crew summer. have they all Sinead. been seen so far Sinead <laughs> helping wondering how many seasons have been so far we don't know the computer randomly chooses them uh slaunch up five uh simple minds are from which country is it is it Germany, Scotland, or Ireland. So Simple Minds, the band. Which country are they from? I have to check that. Don't you? Oh, sorry if I go down low like this. Everyone, so I don't have space up here, and I don't want, don't put any liquids near your electronics. Boom, 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 boom. They're from, Is it going to be from, C? They're from Glasgow. Yeah, they're from Scotland. Scotland. When in doubt. Pixie, well done, Elaine Smith. That's what I always say. I mean, in doubt, you're wrong because it is Scotland and it's B. Question, Question six. six Who were Blinky, Inky, Pinky, and Clyde? Were they cartoon characters, video game characters, or members of Kraftwerk? Inky, Blinky, Inky, Pinky, Stinky, Winky, and Clyde. All of those were they cartoon characters, were they video game characters, or were they members of Kraftwerk? Milk crunchy for my snacks. What? They put crunchy bits inside in it. Yeah. My teeth would be able to handle that now at all. Good stuff. Your teeth couldn't handle, I don't know, jetty babies. <laughs> That's about it. 50% <laughs> went for cartoon characters. You're wrong. Blinky, Inky, Pinky, and Clyde used to chase Pac-Man around the oh, screen. They were the ghosts. They're the Pac ghosts. Pac-Man Monsters. Learned that oh, last week. He's delighted now. Pac-Man Monsters. Learned that last week. Well, I hope you put it to good use. What was the name of Emmett Doc Brown's dog in Back to the Future? Is it? <gasps> Bobby. Edison. Bobby. Max. Einstein. Or Sprocket. One of those four names. I know what it is, but I think that's good. That, that's nice. nice confusing one there for people. There is one confusing one. People might see it and then go, eh, and then go, ah, I knew oh. it was the other one. I hit the wrong one. People think it was D instead. Or people might think it's Edison when it actually is. Uh, well, we'll have to see what people say. Einstein. Oh, no, I got it right anyway. Einstein. Einstein. Young Einstein. Question number eight. Uh, John Hinckley Jr. attempted to assassinate which person in 1981? This is the death question I think I've got. The only one. It's not really a death. It's an attempt assassination. Was it Ronald Reagan 
are Pope John Paul II, JP2. Was it RR or JP2? He died on Easter Sunday. I remember that joke at the time. They went, what's brown and half eaten? The Pope's Easter egg. That's terrible. You no. Know, it there came out half there an could hour. Be, there could be Catholics listening to this who, who do not enjoy that kind of... It's true. I'm just telling you that's the joke that came out. It's, it's, well, it's, it's poor. It's in poor form. Ronald Reagan is the correct answer. JP2 was uh, another person. I can't remember who it was, but... John Hinckley Jr. attempted. I, I watched the video of both of them. It's really weird. Uh, what was the name of the Greenpeace ship that sank on the 10th of July, 1985? Is it the Peace Bringer, the Rainbow Warrior, or Arctic Sunrise? Three of those. Two of them are real ships, and one of them is one that I made up. He's in. Don't want that sort of thing. <laughs> Father Ted, which we're doing on Sunday. Not Sunday Mass. It'll be a late Mass. It'll be a 9, 9 p.m. Mass. Boom, 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 boom. Let's have a look. I think 60% will get this right. I we were on question 10. 78% uh, went for Rainbow Rainbow Warrior is what I just said, and it is the right answer. Arctic Sunrise is another, and it's still, I think, in use, but Peacebringer is one I just made up. It sounds like a hippie ship that you'd have. Uh, Blanche, Devereaux, Rose, Nyland, Dorothy, Zor Zorbnak, and Born. Sophia Pertillo, Petrillo, or better known as, you should really know at this point, is it the A-team? Cagney and Lacey, the Golden Girls, are Dukes of Hazard. Easiest question ever. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Do -do -do. Traveling, traveling down the road and back again. The heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. All, four of them are dead. One of them oh. is still living. Betty White still holds on. 98% of you got Golden Girls. And then 3%. <laughs> three other percent. <laughs> You see, unfortunately, if one if, if one if one person answers a team, which they did, that goes to one percent, regardless yeah. of how many it rounds up. So he was indeed the Golden Girls. Ooh. Why did I pick the made-up name? <laughs> Seven. Who they, you can do this one? Who hosted the FIFA World Cup in 1986? Was it Italy, Germany, Brazil, or Mexico? So Kenny said death. No, the question wasn't about death. Pat brought up the fact that some of them were dead. He he blessed himself. Uh, no, so it brought up that Andrew Gold was dead. Who sang the theme song to the Golden oh, Girls. He brought up that all of the Golden Girls were dead bar one. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of death. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're having a funeral on Sunday for it, so. You were 10 questions in. Um, 67% said Mexico. Mexico, 86. Yes, indeed. Question 12. Who won the most Wimbledon singles titles during the 80s? Was it Ivan Lendl, John McEnroe, or Martina Navratilova? Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. If only I had written the questions, I would know this. Oh, from Shell. That's, uh, yeah, he used to buy the footballs and he used to have the little Mexican uh, guy. Good footballs. They were. Make a fortune if you had one then. Those, uh, uh, the, the Panini stickers at the time were so good as well. We saw them, and we had the, the 90s ones. Uh, 60% said Martina Navratilova. Uh, question 13. We actually have the full pin set from 1990 as well from Mars. Paul Cousin says, you can't be serious. because <laughs> <laughs> Which film saw a group of high schoolers spending a day-long Saturday trapped in school detention, was it? Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Farce times at Ridgemont High or 16 candles. These are very easy, Colm. I know, but it's all about getting people to have a bit of fun and to remember these things. And you know, people are going to get it wrong. People are going to get this wrong. It's true. I've never seen this film. You've never seen it? I've never I, seen I, it. I, I have to admit, I didn't watch it until about 10 years ago. It doesn't hold up well unless you remember watching it in the 80s. If you watch it now, it's not as good, I'd say, as what people would remember it to be as a kind of a classic film at that time. 89% getting that one right. Question 14. In the 80s cartoon, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, what was the name of the small floating magician who wore a red cape and hat whose face could not be seen? Was it Line O, Cringer, Buzz Off, or Orko? I got that one right. I haven't heard this since the 80s, but remembered it. They're, they they keep trying to bring it back either as a cartoon. I think they did bring it back as a cartoon, but they always try and bring it out as a film. There's always someone like, oh, they're bringing it back as a film. Film. 
wasn't bad. Dolph Lundgren was. Dolph Lundgren. And, and Courtney Cox was in it as well. It was terrible, if I'm being honest with you. Um, Shorty Orko. Yes. Well done. Question 15. The Commitments became a film in 1991, but the original book was published in 1997. Who wrote? Was it Roddy Doyle, Stephen King, or Stephen J. Canal? I couldn't think of what I was When I used to see that at the end of television shows, I just knew I was after watching a quality television show, if I'm honest with you. And... 92% were Roddy Doyle. These are very easy, Colin. These for yeah. family. People, 16. They get a little tougher. In which year did the IRA kidnap Sugar? Bingo. You can take it off your card if you want to know. Sugar. We haven't had, we technically, the questions haven't had death in them. We've talked about death, but you can't take that off your bingo card. But we have had a, a year question. So the, I'll give you that one. You can type it off your bingo card now. Oh. Stephen, <laughs> Stephen King. Someone's laughing. I just I was like, oh my <laughs> God, right in here. Like, Throwing out some random Iyer Graham Lenehan or something like that. or uh, any I other have that, but I wasn't thinking. I was, I, I was stuck. 56% said 1983. You're all Googlers, and you're uh, right. Bunch of Googlers. Um, Do we ever have a question where somebody got it right? Yes, when Colin put up one answer. Which Teenage Mutant Hero Turtle wore the blue mask? Was it questions. Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, or Leonardo? It's pronounced Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Nicolage. Mich <laughs> Nicolage. Nicolage. No, no, it's Nicolage. Um. Boom, boom, boom. Let's let's have a look. Oh, Donatello. Is was purple. Wrong answer. Raphael was red. Michelangelo was orange. Leonardo was blue. My boyfriend has four figures, but thirty points of motion. Better get that one. Uh, get with that one right. That one right. Thirty points of motion on a <laughs> figure. My God, I don't even have thirty points of motion. <laughs> I barely have two. Uh, no, it's Nicolas. Uh, Lauren Lobo Brain said. <laughs> no, Nicolas. Another World Cup question. Uh, which country won the 1982 FIFA World Cup? I think that's the last World Cup question. I think there's no more soccer questions involved here. So, I, I like, the, you, when the questions go in, they get grouped in tens. Italy, when I write, Mexico, Germany. When I write them, they tend to be written, close together. So when I wrote the two World Cup questions, they were close to each other. And I could only put them that far apart in that group of ten. Finger and toe moves. I need photographs or a link <laughs> where I can buy them all. Said Italy. Correct. Well done. And uh, what's the sports quiz? And uh, there'll be lots of movies ones later. We went through. Them. Nineteen. What was the infamous consolation prize given to unlucky contestants on Blankety Blank? Blankety Blank. Blankety what Blank. Is? Washing machine, checkbook and pen, or cuddly toy? Blankety Blank. 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 Blankety blank. Blank. Someone, someone sat down in a room and had to come up with that theme song. I was like, going, Match how about game, this guy? Blankety blank, blankety blank, blankety blank, blankety blank. And they laughed. No one laughed him out of the room, and it became the theme song to it. Like, yes, indeed. For the old one, checkbook and pen. You got yourself a... Terry Wogan. Blankety blank, blank, checkbook and pen. And pen. Terry Wogan. Um, who, who was the guy before him? I can't think of his name. He was a comedian as well. Leslie uh, Dawson. Les Dawson. Dawson. Les Dawson. Yeah. One of the funniest men ever. Ten. 20, sorry. Aaron Schwarzenegger made his career breakthrough starring in 1984's The Terminator. How many lines of script did he have in the film? Was it 77, 150, 2, or 14? So, so it's Kennedy's after going, oh, oh blankety blank. No, we're not going to be YouTubing blankety blank afterwards. Super match game, super match game, who, super. Who, who brought it back? What was the name of the presenter that. Um... That brought it back. You can see what the people say. Julian here. Carey. I think it was Julian Carey brought back Blankety Blank. 51% yeah. said 14. 28% said 2. 14 is the correct answer. Points. And uh, we're going to take break. a break and then we'll be back with round two. Now we've only got three other 13 other lines left. 
I know. Uh, right, let's see who is top of the board. Let's see what happens. Let's see who's top. It's calculating stuff. Kieran Murray. He got all of them right. He got all of them right. As did she need help. Did she help didn't answer fast enough? All and Eve, Riley O'Kane. God, you really squeezed that name in, lads. <laughs> you could have just said P and N. <laughs> or an ampersand. Have you seen an ampersand? <laughs> um, <laughs> they wanted to make sure that we didn't have Neve and Riley stuck together. The spot, Jonathan Finbar. Uh, I didn't give him Kieran and the Head Wreckers. You sound like a great bunch of lad. Sixty <laughs> fourth <64th> spot, <laughs> Luke and Laney Grange. Terry loves yogurt in seventy first spot. I think people like a Brooklyn. Would you like a Brooklyn nine nine? The Goonies in eighty third spot. Overrated. Um, Beth Lee's gonna... in one hundred and twenty second. She's delighted herself. Her and the two donkeys. Hey donkeys. Hey donkey. Every hey, week. Donkey. Oh my. Call him. Yes. Uh, I, I thought I'd have to save this image here now. The pizza has come out of the oven. Oh. I'm actually starving here now looking at it. I am so hungry. I know. I'd love a pizza. Anybody I am wanna... so, so hungry. Right. Let's have a look. Here he is enjoying his pizza. That base looks very thick, though. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a loaf of bread. He's <laughs> on the top. He's of it. Like, He's delighted with like, but <laughs> look, well done. The fact that you went and made your own pizza, but like, it, I don't see any cheese. It just looks like bread with a lot of bacon chucked on the top. <laughs> Come on, it's, it still looks good. To be honest, with the cheese and bacon. <laughs> so is that a loaf? I'm not alone here. The, the, the comments are coming in. He'll never try pizza again. He'll think we're bullet. It's a thick. <laughs> I thought uh, that when I saw the dough on the counter, I thought he was going to make it into smaller. I cut it up into smaller balls, and, and but evidently he used the whole. <laughs> that, whole, whole dough. that would have done about ten pizzas, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take, see if I can... <laughs> sorry uh, for that. To be fair, I'd still eat it. Like I'm not. Gonna... And tag. I have a buddy called uh, Curly Stew who makes pizzas, and I'll have to send that on to him. <laughs> sorry. In fact, you know what. For that attempt, I'm going to send him a Barcadia pizza. I'm going to send him two Barcadia pizzas. So yeah. if, if you've got an email address for them, congratulations. Yeah. You've won yourself two Barcadia pizza vouchers. Rachel said we're going to send you two Barcadia pizzas. When this is off, I'll get that out in the post tomorrow. I'll get them here and I'll, I'll write their names down. And you can you can forward me on in the background there. Uh, look, there you are. Two Barcadia pizza vouchers, especially if you, he's even got the turtles on it as well. Uh, copyright issues pending. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, congratulations. Um, and you know what? Well done. Well done. Well done. Listen, I've never made a pizza from scratch in my life either. Let's be honest. Oh, while, we, while we're here? While we're here. We do that to... Because we forgot to play it at the start of the quiz. We're now playing our intro now. It's Friday night. It is half past nine. It's the live quiz. Presented by Pat and Colum. <laughs> <laughs> Warner Brothers, don't sue us. Don't sue us. Uh, radio. Let's get Just that our luck now that Teenage Mutant Turtles are probably belong to Warner Brothers at this point. And by the way, yeah, so I want to see pictures of them turtles as well. I like turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> There's some awful comments coming in about that person's pizza. To be fair, they were so happy with it and they look so happy with it in the pizza, in the picture. I was, you know, let's not put a person down for, for, for trying to make stuff, for trying to better themselves. You should know. You should know better, Pat. I'm just. I'm just giving some friendly advice. I thought I might still eat it. Uh, we've now been sent a picture of the turtles, and also uh, something that they said that we might appreciate because of Barcadia. Um, how are y'all doing in the quiz, everybody? Come on, what are you up to? I'm trying to get. Oh, to I'm, I'm, I, people are sending me messages about in the background over the last few things, so I was just replying back to him to make sure that they were all sorted and stuff as well. Um, Looks like he loves. Oh, uh, no, we're not going to call that one. Darren Buckley, 200th place, blaming the bleach. I drank to kill the COVID AP at 8 p.m. I don't think he actually said about injecting bleach. I think he, they were talking about what. I, oh, I think, did you hear it? I, I, I don't know if he directly said it. I think it's been cut badly. I, 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 yeah, yes. 
I, I think I think there's a Snopes already about that he didn't actually say it that way. No, he didn't. But we said like we we've got you know antibacterials that can wipe it out in one minute. You know why can't we get certain things like that into your blood system? <laughs> it's not good. Uh, right, I'm trying to get your photographs up here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay, the next round is going to start in uh, in, in four minutes. We're going to start at. at 35 minutes past. So we're going to start at 25 minutes. Today. So four minutes. We've already been chatting away loads in the background. So we've got another round coming at you, like Cleopatra. Cleopatra coming at you. Yeah, he didn't actually just say it that way. It was worded badly. I, I like I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a Trump supporter, but I do believe that, the you know, that you have to give, you know, you got you got to attack him with the things that he does actually say on purpose, which are a lot of things, to be fair. Uh, this came in from Neve Kelly. This is the G and T. But oh, oh my God, she's got Corona and she's sitting at home. Corona, like she's just rubbing it in. Now. I I can drink this stuff. I just drink it. It's uh, and G and T. That what is the, the color? It's not G and T. It's it looks. It's it's it pink gin. Yeah, but it, oh, pink gin. Yeah, that's not gin. Um, they just said it's G and T. No, no, pink gin is not gin. I'm only messing anyway. <laughs> um, that's Shifra is there as well. Shifra, who's our halftime and finishing <gasps> here last week. She's sitting down enjoying that a bit. I don't think she's, I think she's having the pizza as well. Like, uh, I get her the piano. We'll have her at halftime. <laughs> I think she's enough to tidy up the house and get back to us. It has to be an 80s song and it has to be from a movie. Look at those. Pretty impressive. They are pretty impressive. And then they said, we'd appreciate this. That is, if you can see in the middle there, without getting uh, slightly confused as to what's going on. Um, wow. Oh, like Xbox. Oh, there might be questions on some of these things later. Well, I see the Dreamcast. Good on you. Great console. Uh, an OG Xbox, a 360, NES, PlayStation, PS2, PlayStation 3 with the domed top. Uh, I see GameCube silver up up there. There's a Game Boy Color. NES yeah. system, uh, Super Nintendo, yeah. Nintendo 64, Wii, and another Wii on the other side. Right. I have a few of those. I have, I have, I have all those. I've got a couple of couple like that as well. I've got myself nice, safe. Nice selection. I'll have, to, I'll have to do an old video someday and show people. Right. Two minutes to go. Well, less than two minutes. Uh, one and a half minutes. So in about a minute, you'll get the first set of questions. In about 40 seconds, I'm going to start screaming, look at your phone, look at your phone, look at your phone. If you are out there and you're in the toilet or you're in the kitchen, come back. Come back to the phone. Come back uh, to your television. Oh, Commodore 64, though. Aww. It's it's not something you'd store on a shelf like that. It's Commodore 64 is flat, so it, it doesn't it doesn't display well. Oh, you're going all out of focus there, Pat. Go to Pat, Derek. You're out of focus. What? You're out of focus. There you go. You're back. Any questions on 80s porn he wants to know? Evan Long. No. No. Not yet. No one said anything about a halftime show to me. Ah, uh, we didn't even mention it. Ah, uh, no, you're fine. You're good. You're good. Relax. Tonight's your relaxing time. I would be wants to, if she wants to, and she plays an 80s song. If you play the, if you play the song, has to be Axel F. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> no, What's the, what was the song from Mannequin on the Move again, or Mannequin? Uh, Mannequin on the Move. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Starship. What a song. Um, By the way, 80s nights, greatest. Greatest, best. Right, one minute. Uh, what? Look at your phone. No, let's see. Thirty seconds. Look at your phone. 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 It's third twenty-five to. You get yourself a few seconds before we start asking the questions. Pat's going to get it ready. Get ready. ready. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Relax. Get that pizza. Finish that pizza. No, your feet. Your your fingers are all greasy. No. I'll take a drink. Look, have a drink there, Pat. Get yourself ready. It's thirty-five. Too late. Too late. Next question. 21. Here we go. Let's do this. And again, if there's any trouble, let us know and we'll take a little pause again. But everything seems to be working away fine. Question 21. I pressed the button, but I don't know if I pressed it twice. Oh, no. There we go. It's thinking. Second. Because it has to move on to a second round of questions. We'll leave it up there for everybody. Go. Men who catch fly with chopsticks accomplish anything. Name the movie. Is it? Short Circuit. Rocky Three, Karate Kid. Or the champ. There you go. Pints going down there. 
everything seems to be working away. That circuit round. If if anyone has does get dropped out or they lose all their points, refresh and don't freak out too much as we do have all of your points backed up in a file. So no matter what happens, you will be able to get your points. Or and if you're oh, contending, look at that. One percent went for Rocky Three. What was Rocky doing going around catching flies with chopsticks? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, one percent, and uh, the other one percent didn't exist at all. So ninety nine percent of people answered it. The fall of the Berlin Wall came on November nineteen eighty nine, leading to which star to perform atop of the famous concrete barrier on New Year's Eve of that same year? Was it Elton John, David Hasselhoff, or Bruce Springsteen? In a filing cabinet, Stephen Cassidy. I'm very quiet there, Pat. No, sorry. Just got a uh, thanks so much. You're great for the pizza. I got ah. an email address and you can contact them and get and any, any pictures of him crying his eyes. <laughs> Sitting on the couch with two ton of bread inside him. Uh, Bruce Springsteen did play in Berlin a couple of months or a couple of, maybe a year, I think, before the Berlin Mall came down. David Hasloff was playing in Germany quite a lot of the time and he did play in New Year's Eve the same year. It was David Hasloff is the correct answer. Yeah, some Roisin Conger wants an MP3 or WAV of column thing. Look at the phone, look at the phone, look at the phone, look at no the phone. No problem, I'll record it tonight. Uh, question 23. Which of these hits got to number one in the UK uh, in, in the 1980s? Two of these didn't actually get to number one, they got to number two. Was it Queen Radio Gaga? Was it Aha, Take On Me? Or was it oh. Your, The Final Countdown? One of those got to number one, the other two got to number two. It's strange to think like, uh, wham, I think Wake You Up Before You Go-Go didn't get to number one either. I think it got to number two. It was knocked off by, like, the Charlatans or something like that. Caravan of Love. It's very strange number ones that knocked, that took the title of, of, of oh, number one. Very low in the 80s. We're down to the end. 48% went for Aha, Take On Me. I, I, I think that's wrong. It's Europe, the final countdown. It's so yeah, they're all Googling it now, and I double-checked it. According to the UK charts, so you have to go... Yeah. I, I, oh. Uh, 24. Simon Le Bon was the lead singer of which band? Is it Dire Straits, Foreigner, Duran Duran, or The Police? Now, you could a bit of a bit of a bit of <laughs> Magnum PI here. You could eliminate a few. We don't have to be Columbo to work out one or two of those ones. <laughs> I was thinking of us last night. Another quiz. We're on a sting. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a sting impression last night. Oh, you should have been there. It was very bad. It was funny um, because I, I we, there was a fella that was supposed to be doing the quiz and he wasn't there and we were saying that he probably thought Sting was... An, uh, uh, the, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, he had to be there. Ninety two percent surrender. I go down these avenues and then I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> And I was very, very drunk. That's I love foreigners. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. Bloody foreigner. Come over here. Want you to know what love is. Question 25. In which role did Mr. T first utter the, his famed catchphrase, a bit of the fool? Was it as BA in the A-team or as Clubber Lang in Rocky Three? So he played both of those characters, but which of them was the first to utter, a bit of the fool? A bit of the fool who wears my jewellery. <laughs> <laughs> and then he has oh, a jewelry line that you can buy his jewelry from. What? Remember, we're not going to get sued. Remember what, what shows that column? I pity the fool who wears my jewelry. Nope. You don't know the TV show? People in the comments, what's the TV show? I pity the fool who wears my jewelry. It's Brooklyn Nine Nine. Nope. Uh, uh, everyone went eighty-three percent of you went for BA in the eighteen. Believe it or not, it... Beth what? Lee got it right. Friends, well done. Question twenty-six. What's the current world record for the fastest time taken to complete a standard 3x3x3 three by three by three Rubik's Cube? Now, the Rubik's Cubes are world famous, and I know this is a recent enough question as regards to how it was, it's been standing for a long time, to be fair, but is it 5.47 seconds? Is it 3.47 seconds? Or is it 4.47 seconds? One of those is I, how fast the Rubik's Cube I is. I own a speed cube. Colin. What's a speed cube? Do you have to use your WD-40 to speed it up? It's cube, but it, the joints are so easy to move. It's, it's made for doing... Speed test. Lawyers watching. Laszlo. Shh. Laszlo. Shh. 
going to get sued. And let's have a look. 52% saying 3.47 seconds. It is indeed. And fastest fingers get themselves an extra few points as Evan, well. Evan, not the first off to say that Colin reminds me of Charlie from It's Always Sunny. It's been brought up. What? And he he's looks like Charlie, acts like Charlie, but he also acts like Dennis. <laughs> what? Dennis system. He said you look like Charlie from. Uh... I know, but I don't get it. I don't. I, I don't see it, and I don't, I've never. You've said it's been happened before. Marvin Hagler, Robert Duran, Roberto Duran, and Michael Spinks were all famous types of sportsmen in the eighties. But what sport were they involved in? Is it race car drivers, tennis players, GA stars, or boxers? One of those oh, things. Marvin Hagler there up front there for course. <laughs> yes, that's why I put it in there because it's comic. Oh, Roberto Duran there now. Roberto he Duran, and he puts it over there for me. Oh. <laughs> And it's Roberto Duran, Michael <laughs> Spinks tearing down the line. Sixty-five uh, percent uh, said boxers. They were indeed boxers. Not GA stars. I beat it anyone who get that question. GA stars. People do actually. People just listen to us. Uh, 20, 28. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Come on. Top Gun, Crocodile Dundee, or Crocodile Dundee 2. Oh, Colum. There. Sneaky. There is where people may get tripped up. Pity the Fool was in Rocky 3. Somebody yeah, said. we know. We did say that. He was Cobra Lang in Rocky 3. That was the question. That's not a knife. It's a spoon. See, you've played Knifey Spoonie before there, Laszlo. And let's have a look, see what people said. 90% said Crocodile Dundee. 9% said Dundee. And 2% having a clue what's going on <laughs> for Top Gun. Uh, you can ride my tail anytime, wasn't it? Very strange uh, film. 90% uh, said Dundee. Yeah. It is right. Which of the famous 80s movies characters was notoriously scared of snakes? A scared of snakes. Is it Axel Foley? Aquel! Is it Indiana Jones or is it Marty McFly? <laughs> Did I catch you off guard? Aquil! Aquil! Aquil, Foley! Aquil! Indiana Jones, uh, Mark McFly. Everyone's going to be so... Oh, they're saying Aquil Foley. I'll just yeah. go with that. Aquil Foley. Aquil. I don't see Aquil, though. I, I know. Uh, I'm probably saying Aquil. 93, a few people went for Aquil. But uh, 93% went for Indiana Jones. And that is the correct answer. Snakes. I hate snakes. And then... And he's got a sack. He what? He had a satchel. That's it. Not a man bag. What toy would you have bought in the 1980s if you had received a unique birth certificate with it, signed by its creator, Javier uh, Robert, Roberts? Xavier? Javier? Xavier. Xavier? I'm going to Xavier. Xavier. I don't know. Xavier. Xavier. Uh, Xavier Roberts. Is it Pound Puppies, My Little Ponies, Barbie and Ken, and or Cabbage Patch Kid? Oh, and Ashling Desmond is straight in to say, I had one. Ooh. Pat, you're rickety cricket before he fell in with the gang. <laughs> hey guys. Um 90% said cabbage patch kid. Correct. Oh, by the way, to Evan who says we're all part. My brother found out that when we were opening up a bar, he said, Oh my god, it is uh, always sunny in Philadelphia. He thought it was like that. Uh, 31. I'm gonna do these 10. Boom, boom, boom. So waiting for it to load. <clears throat> kind of has to load after every 10 questions because that's the way they get installed. Someone says, I remember pregnant Barbie, her belly used to clip off. I do remember that as well. My neighbors had it. Yeah, that's it was weird. really weird. <laughs> uh, which movie soundtrack featured the song The Heat Is On with segments of the film appearing in the music video? That was a thing back then. Music videos with, with clips of the film. Part yeah, they can't afford them now. Billy Ocean, when the going gets tough. Uh, Ghostbusters. They, they even play the like the saxophone and the pretend saxophone. Danny DeVito plays. Remember that? Roman, was it Romancing the Stone? No. Oh, this, song. Peter Paul's song, is it? It's a great song. <laughs> I, even like, I even like the B, the, the boys own version of that one. I uh, love play songs like that now. Beverly Hills Cop, Top Gun. Come on. It's not Top Gun. Getting yourselves down, lads. Okay, we've been proved wrong on a question. So Jess Murphy says Rocky 3 was 1982 and the 18 was 1983. Clubber Lang said it first. Okay, 
we'll figure that out. Whatever happens, if, if it comes down to the top three getting in, in, in spats over it, we will sort that out. There's Murphy just lawyered, you call him. Yeah, you fair just enough. Got only, 12%, only 12% got it right. So, I mean, it's very easy for us to find out who got it right yeah. and who should get an extra point. Yeah. So, there's no problems there. We can work that out. Which brand of toy was launched in 1982 with varieties called Blossom, Minty, Butterscotch, Cotton Candy, Bluebell, and Snuzzle? Blossom. Was it Micro Machines, Munchichi, Care Bears, or My Little Pony? Blossom. Uh, I don't understand what fight, fight lookism. Uh, how does it work? What does how does what work? What 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 what? How does it work? Ashling Desmond, uh, look at her. I hate those two. Look at you showing off. Oh, I'd all the fancy toys, but you pretty nothing. Daddy, I'd like a pony. Uh, I think this guy's asking, how does it work? A quiz. And um, it's old already. You can just shout at the screen. Lots. Shout it at your screen now. And we hear your answer. 59% said My Little Pony. That is correct. My Little Pony, Prince yeah. Sparkle. Remember a little girl got in trouble for singing the My Little Ooh. Pony Skinny Bony one on the Late Late Show there like a couple of years ago. What was that about? Like That was our PC nonsense gone mad. Paul Young's voice was the first heard on Band-Aid song, Do They Know It's Christmas? But who was the second voice to be heard? He, sa he says, At Christmas time. Was it Boy George? Phil Collins, Bob Geldof, or Bono? Bono. The Bono. Was it Boy Georges? Phil Collins, Bob Gildoof, or Bono? People are now watching this background. What is going on here? The, the oh. reason why there's an apostrophe S at the end of Boy George is because it's a whose voice, which is the answer that I copied out of the question and then never put an S at the other ones that I made up. Yeah. <laughs> Nice one. Boy George's See? voice. But it should have been Bob Detective Geldof. Work here by people. Question 34. First shown in 1984, who hosted the TV show? Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Try not say it. I know. <laughs> I nearly said it in the accent. Uh, is it Bruce Forsyth, Phila Black, or Terry Wogan? <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. That's to see you. Surprise, surprise. It's nice. Uh, Surprise, surprise. No. <laughs> that sounded like... No, no, no nothing. nothing. Sounded like... Or... Surprise, surprise. Or oh, um, oh, Blind Date. Or oh, Graham. Or oh, Graham. Or oh, Graham. My first time meeting Danielle Conroy. <gasps> Column, um, why don't we do a Blind Date on this okay <laughs> we'll do a blind date and they can't see who the other three people are and everybody else will we'll have to get them in a room separate where they can't see us oh, all right we'll do that if anyone wants to do blind date they can sorry. sorry just thought of an idea um who were the autobots fighting in transformers was it the megacons the decepticons or the cybercons Colm can never tell anyway when he's watching the movies. All he sees is robots. I, it, it just looks like the same thing fighting the same thing. I have no clue what's going on. It's just like metal fighting each other. And then like you're like, oh, what's happening? And then Mark Wahlberg's like, in, the, in another one. And, <laughs> and I, only watch, I only watch it to watch Josh DeMille in the first two. Let's be honest with you. 78% uh, Decepticons. Ashling Desmond says, I didn't have those. <laughs> oh, look at you. Gender, gender stereotyping yourself. Um, it is 36. Who was the Smurfs' enemy? Was it Churiel, Caramel, or Gargamel? Churiel, Caramel, or Gargamel? That looks like a one there, right? That I, I missed right at the end of Caramel. Caramel one, <laughs> Gargamel two, or Turiel three. Uh, Right, let's see what people have said. 91% of Gargamel, it was a Gargamel, of course. I'll we... get you. No, that was him, was it? Yeah, it was, yeah. I'll hey, you. <laughs> just do the wrong, the wrong, the generic uh, bad guy voice and cartoons it's back in the age. Voice. Yeah, the <laughs> I'll get you. Uh, Paul Cusk, yeah, the first, was my first new movie. Yeah. <laughs> that was every I bad gadget. 
In which kids TV show that ended in 1988 did Sprocket the dog appear? Was it Little Hobo or Fraggle Rock? I'm just saw What was that? I just saw that Paul Smurfs from my first movie. Yeah, I tried telling you that a second ago. Do we get bonus points if we name Gargamel's cat? No. No, because it could be a question later. And let's see what people said. No, Fraggle Rock. It was indeed. The famous five. It was Timmy the dog. Come on. And Timmy the, the dog. And George and Timmy the dog. And, and Rocket the dog. <laughs> Here's the voice. Keeps on calling me. TV team. Down the road. It's where I'll always be. Uh, Tom Selleck played which famous 80s detective and Cullum's dad? What was it? David Addison, Remington Steele, Colombo, or Thomas Magnum? Daniel O'Connell is late to the party there. We have been lawyered already there, buddy. We've, we, 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 we've been told that the correct answer was the other one. So. Daniel O'Connell has been spending the last 20 minutes Googling that answer. <laughs> Hacking the internet. You shouldn't be on the internet. You should be answering the questions. Come on. We, we 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 will we will sort out if anyone in the top ten or twenty is short points. We know when they answer the question, and we can give them the points based on what they are. And that is very easy. For Magnum PIA, of course, is the correct answer. The mustache. The mustache. The mustache. Thirty nine. What was the magic number? The <laughs> the the nineteen eighteen hit nine hit from De La Soul. Was it five three seven nine? You put in two dolls. It cut me off. Daniel's just saying, sorry, just confirm. <laughs> He's taking a step back now. Yeah. Sorry. That's, we're okay, Daniel. I just, I just, just don't get put you all right. Don't watch yourself. We've got your email address. We'll do nothing with it. That's me. My dad's there now. <laughs> we used to have a poster. We used to have a poster of Magnum PI on one of the walls where he was leaning on the Ferrari in the shirt. And we, and at night, because my dad worked night, we just say, oh, that's dad. We never see him. Oh, yeah. Just telling everybody about your neglected childhood when your dad oh, used to... Not at all. He was a, he was a brilliant, <laughs> great dad. Best dad you could ever want. Right. Question 40, last one before a break. Which movie soundtrack featured the song Up Where We Belong with segments of the film appearing in the music video? <laughs> you actually put it in there again. Was it An Officer and a Gentleman? Rambo? <laughs> Big Trouble in Little <laughs> Rambo? Love lifts us up where we belong, where the eagles fly. You'd be on a person's throat in slow motion, where the bullets are coming out of the gun in a heart shape, like you know. He's lifting up four percent at Rambo. Horrible out of us. Oh, let's see what could it be. It is an officer. I thought I was full sure it was Rambo. <laughs> and right now, uh, see who's where. Uh, let's get our scoreboard up. Press the button. Press the button. The impressions are on fire tonight, lads. And Sherman High Basket. Baskin. 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 And I can't see. Oh, I'll have to go down. Uh, Caroline Larry and Paul and Eve Riley O'Kane. Give them their full title. Are in third position, and um, we have had a change. So uh, again, don't worry about it right now. If you're in the top 10 and you know and you're within a hundred points of first place, okay. And so like if 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 you think that, like, oh, I got that question right, but you're 400 points behind, don't bother us. Don't annoy us. Don't annoy us. But if you're in the top 10 after the quiz and you're short a hundred points or, or that of a hundred points, we can tell when you answered and we can add the points in and take the points away. So there could be, you know, within within reason of about 180 in the in the points difference. Of course. If that team above you got it wrong as well, or right, depending. So uh, it's, it's all for a bit of fun anyway. And we understand. Bronwyn is uh, loving this one, guys. And loving the bants as well. Loving the bants, we love a bit. banter. This one we should that, have. That Rambo, that Rambo one was funny. Now I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be chuckling away to that later on. Donkey pair in fifteenth. Oh no, we have to go look and see who's in fifteenth. I think it's the donkeys, is it? James Conroy is in fifteenth place. Garden, this one here. 
James is in fifteenth. He knows his eighties himself, and Danielle know the eighties very well. They're they're good at the films, and I will I will tell you there is a lot of film and TV questions coming up in the last uh, in the last forty. I think I, I stuck a lot in there, and there's a bit of Irishy questions coming up as well. So if any of our Canadian viewers are watching, Mark, we Mark's never come back to us. He's never we come back. Mark. We're talking him on LinkedIn at the moment, and he's still not coming. We're back. Like, we need a lawyer at some point, possibly for some sort of an injunction against himself. <laughs> That's yeah, that restraining order has been put in <laughs> Ferrero Roche or something. Podrigo Dunnick is saying he's in 40, 401 place since the personal best. Pat, are we going to do tonight where we choose some random people as well? Uh, or no, we'll, we'll, do two. we'll do two. You do the maths, we'll do two. We'll do two. We can so do two, two people get all for one vouchers, yes. And we'll randomly choose some numbers, it'll be in the top 500. Well, yes. I think there's only 500 people playing tonight as well, so. Uh, to do, to do, to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to random number generator. What you're going to do is you're going to start tell me when to stop, and I'll tell you, go. When you want to stop, anytime, Pat. I'm stopping. Otherwise, I'm stopping. <laughs> Let's see how long you go. Eleventh. So eleventth place tonight is getting themselves a twenty-five euro voucher. <laughs> People are going to be purposely tanking the quiz now to try and come 11th. And I'll give you the opportunity, Pat, to go again. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm stopping. I wasn't ready. No, you didn't. See it. Come on. You told, you told me when I want to. Yeah, but like within reason. Within reason. We're starting the next round of five pass, by the way. Five pass. We're starting at. Okay, next one. You say same, uh, same when you're starting to press the button. So I am pressing the button. Oh. <laughs> no, 187th. I'm not ready. Can we do that again? If you're in any of those spots, you're going to be getting the prizes. And you get lovely uh, digital all for one vouchers. Is that the person I'm sending uh, pizzas to? Is it? That's pizzas. So if you can send them an email and you can I will. get the address. Once I log into the other, the, the actual <laughs> the proper account, I'll, I'll send that. I'll send you pizzas. Oh, we're getting some messages here. Oh, that's just me. No, no, I'm, I'm going to forward it on to you there, so you can. There, you've got people doing what looks like me making a complete mess of this, but we're going to send it on to you. So I'm going to forward that to you. Oh my god, I'm just there's a million messages here for me. And by the way, people, I rarely check the Facebook messages once we start the quiz. So I sent you on that. All right, we know the Mister T questions wrong. God Almighty, <laughs> money messing. You go, sent you a private mail there, so on uh, Facebook, Facebook okay. message. We have private messages anyway in the software column. Yes, but this is a picture for someone to put up on the screen. They've sent it to me personally. Right. Where did you send it to? Patrick Hardin's name? Uh, no, your own personal one, so that makes it even worse again, I would assume. So. Oh I'd have to open my new tabs. Can't really know how to grind my gears. You know what really grinds my gears? That. You know already grinds my gears? About six minutes. Um, get it. I'm just waiting. Get it. I'm just waiting for the internet. To get it. To get it now. Oh. To get it. What is going on there? Mom. I was asking the same <laughs> question. Absolutely mayhem. What is that? I'm. I don't see the message. We play every Wednesday and Friday. They do. They're amazing. They've been on to us all the time. Uh, I'm trying to get that. Oh. Of the mayhem of this house. Now, you know what I mean when I show you this. Fix scores with Mr. T or we pity the fool. If you are in the top 15, I'll fix your score. Otherwise, I'm going to fix you. Figure it out. <laughs> this is what I figured. Look at this. Just absolutely. <laughs> Imagine trying to clean that up. Green goo everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Uh, that was from Leona. I'm not even going to pronounce that surname. Nee Quiggan. Is it Quiggan? I'm going to say that. Leona Nee Quiggan. Is that, a, is that baby wearing a Celtic jersey? I don't know. It looks like it. <laughs> Celtic baby girl. <laughs> the it's amazing. It's amazing. 
look at the, how are you cleaning the place up after that? That's that's you don't you don't you just give up. You give that's up. What your house. Ho- that's I what your holding was like. Now we're <laughs> we're selling the house and we're moving into a different place. <laughs> and then <laughs> like you know the, the the real estate agents coming in going well they've got this very fancy table it was done by a designer. Mm-hmm. It's called the green goo. It's called a green goo table. All the famous people want to get it done. It's it, it looks it's like green. a tea table, but it's covered in green goo. But no, it's designed. What is this, a Mr. T quiz? Oh, don't start me on this now, chaps. Lads, can you say hi to Jerry? He's back again. Hi, Jerry. 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 I don't. I, 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 I envisage Jerry as an old man. I don't know why. Like, as in Jerry. No. I can't get onto the internet. How does this work? Um, I have a oh, YouTube opened. I didn't change the credits from last week. I haven't had a chance. It's Caramel One's fault. So it's not even deep. You really love jumping on mistakes. You don't know how difficult it is to actually make a quiz in an Excel sheet that has nothing. Oh. It's so blank. Oh, Colin, big happy birthday, Mwiran Nelligan. She's having her birthday Sunday. Uh, it's Sunday. She should be doing... Uh, the way you celebrate your birthday is by doing a Father Ted quiz. Let's be honest with you. Thanks. They have a, a, a child's birthday on the Saturday, and then it's Mirren's birthday on the Sunday. So I think they're. I tell you what, because no. it's her, because it's her birthday, she, she she can she can join early. <laughs> uh, right, you got. F- what did we start? Now? Five past. It's a double whammy, with Mr. T. Come on, yeah, we know. Five past, call him, yeah. Yeah, five past. So it's it's four right. more minutes. Three more minutes. Um. Going through all uh, I'm it. horrified. There's a team there called Dobby Deserved It. I don't know what that means. Uh, da, 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 da. I want my 60 cent back. Um, like, I mean, lads, the Mr. T question was wrong. We know. <laughs> I'm assuming he's winding us up at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Dobby? Um, is this a father Ted or is that a what you call it? A Harry Potter thing? Is, is Dobby a Harry Potter thing? Yeah. All right. Do you have time for poo? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you what you just did. <laughs> uh, Captain Comer loves saying fart nuggets for some strange reason. Uh, uh, right at the moment, there is about 50 points between first and second. There is about uh do, 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 do. there's about 70 points between second and third and then below that we're, we're going to see right again okay so you know the team i'm, on, I'm going to be on about east view column team east view east view east view for life uh they said uh, any chance you give us points for mr t <laughs> we're we're in 40th place now but it would push us to 20th if we get the points, all yeah, if I, the, problem, the problem I have with this is that if I have yeah. to do it manually, so if I do it for one team, I have to do it for all the teams. And not only that, I have to take all the points from all the teams that got it right and add all the teams that got it wrong. So, or take sure. me from wrong and get it right from the top three. Is it? So, only I'll only be able to do it if oh. it's the top <laughs> 10 thing, right? And if and only if it is within. A reasonable range of someone getting into the top three, and uh, th- like if, if it's really that much of a contentious issue, we'll sort it out. I pity the quiz masters, yeah. Right, right. we're ready to go. Look at your phones, 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 I'm not reading that rest of that one out because it's racist. I'm having my 50th birthday in lockdown. In me, ah, Michelle 40th in August, I'd say. Oh, it's going that way, lads. Um, right. I'm waiting one minute or 30 seconds. Well, you got about 15 seconds before it starts, but people should be looking at their phones anyway at this point. You'll get the question now if you're watching the uh, YouTube stream. Yes. I was ready to press the button there now. Boom, 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 boom. I'm still never sure if I, well, how the how time works. <laughs> Why I'm late all the time. Oh, how time works. Right, Colin, give us Question 10. 41. Don't stand so close to me was an Irish chart number one for which band in the 1980s? Come on, this is so easy, like. 
Uh, is it the police? <laughs> REM, Fleetwood Mac or Rush? <laughs> yes. Don't stand so, don't stand so close to me. I was going to do a Fleetwood Mac version of uh, Don't Stand So Close To Me. Go on, try it now. No, I'll just do Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. The goat. Yeah. 87%. The police. The police. <laughs> the police. I'm sorry. Next question. He's, it's, it's like he's the here. The it's like he's right here. With which song did Johnny Logan win his first Eurovision? Johnny Is Logan. <laughs> What's another year? Or What's hold another me year? now. Hold me now. You can turn every song into a police song. Just go. Big Eddie Squares. No, you lost it. Stop. Um, oh, lads, I'm going mad. I'm slowly but surely going oh, mad. Look at that. 54 and 46. His first one was what's another year or 54% got it right. When, <laughs> when did Sting get here? Wow. Uh, thank you. Uh, 43. That white suit though. Yeah. T telling me. Father Ted. Uh, before Father Ted, Dermot Morgan was famous for playing a witch comedy priest in the 80s. Did and you know that? Sorry, American folk. Father Sheik. Father Trendy, Father Swish, or Father Swank? One of those is the right answer. Father Fashionable was one of the other ones I was going to write in there, but I didn't think anyone followed for that one. Father Fred. You should go with Father Fred. Father Fred. Be very close. 67%. Well done. Father Trendy is the right answer. It's the most, it's, it's, it's very well done. Well done. There's a few Irish questions right now in the next few. There's a few Irish questions. I was watching Reeling in the Years to write these ones. Not my name is Irish. All right, Peter, just because you're German and so efficient. Um, where is he? There he is. Drink, drink, drink. If I had a German question, not everyone's German. Question 44. We had a, we had a Berlin Wall question earlier on. We didn't go on about that. Like, what is he this did. German quiz? Question ever. True or false? Gabriel Byrne was on Glen Row. Met Gabriel Byrne, had a selfie with him. It was the grumpiest selfie ever. It appeared on Joe.ie of grumpy selfies. <laughs> Daniel O'Connor is tough shite. Would you believe he got married that day? Who did? Gabriel Byrne, the day I met him. All right. Um, well, he wasn't on Glen Row. He was in Bracken, which is a TV show that preceded Glenrow. Miley and uh, Biddy were on Bracken at the end of it, which bridged it into Glenrow. But they, he wasn't actually on Glenrow. Ah, uh, there you go. 45. Bracken. Everyone thinks that Bracken was Glenrow. The DeLorean car was assembled in which Irish county is it? Antrim, Down, Dublin, or Galway. Which Irish county was the DeLorean car assembled technically wasn't designed there but it was did you do and I didn't. i'm guessing you said went to wedding or reading james c um a bit of both did, did his garden and dj the wedding <laughs> no. uh, 69 percent. there's our 69 again keeps popping up antrim is the correct answer belfast to be exact in the city 69 percent getting the right 46 which Michael Jackson album had the tracks PYT, Beat It, and Human Nature on it? I want we, to love we have to triple check this answer. Pat wouldn't believe me. Is it bad, off the wall, or thriller? I want to love you. Belfast is a city in Antrim. Ashley Desmond wants to know. Yeah, we asked County, Ashley. Get it right. Because yeah, we never get stuff wrong. Never. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh look at that i changed i changed i changed tab have limited edition beat it on vinyl that's a nice one to have showing off there evan right it's it thriller. Was thriller. we looked it up it starts with wanna be starting something and then it just that there. Hit after hit after hit. 
it's like it's like he was saying like you know want to be starting something yeah want to be starting something three three songs in he's into thriller then he's into pyt then he's into beat it then he's into human nature it's ridiculous <laughs> question 47 what was the name of inspector gadget's intelligent niece is it is it Vanellope? is it penny genie or dora one of those ah give me that. elaine smith oh, he, he. i'm guessing that's what i was he, he. <laughs> that wasn't bad though. Ooh. You can get away with waving the kids up. I got some sleep. C eighty two percent said penny. Bing 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 bing. Eighty two percent penny is the right answer. Oh, oh, gadget roller skates. Yes, indeed. Forty eight. Next time, gadget. Name uh, by a man by the name of Michael Fagan broke into Buckingham Palace in nineteen eighty two. But in which room was he found? There you go. Is it the kitchen, the bathroom, or a bathroom, the queen's bedroom, or the main dining room? Ooh. Bum, 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 Someone just bum, said, Shimon. 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 Queen's bedroom. It was indeed. indeed. He got into a lot of rooms, but he was found in the queen's bedroom. And he put on a he put on a chase. Uh, which system? Which of these systems was released in Europe first? So first in Europe. So th these are systems, game systems. Someone so, so it might suit someone there now. If we don't have saw a picture from, is it the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Sega Master System, or the Game Boy? So the release. Oh, no pressure on them. Or Pizza Man. Pizza, pizza. Oh no, it wasn't Pizza Man. It was uh, Turtles Man. Oh, Turtles Man, yeah. I like sure. Dodo. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, ooh, fifty percent say Sega Master System. Thirty-five say Nintendo. Fifteen say Game Boy. The, the Master System came after the NES by about a year, and the Game Boy two years later after that. So there you go. Was that oh, was it on the photo? Was it on the shelf in the photo order? It was. It was at it the was. top. Top. I actually no. didn't see a master system. Second one I, from the top on the left. If I'm honest with you, I don't remember seeing a master system and an original Game Boy up there. He's just, no. he's just a pretender. A pretender. pretender. Fake one. I don't have any of systems. Uh, 50. In which year did Glenroe first start on Irish TV? What's this? A Glenroe quiz? Before Looks like it. In there. Tut tut. A 90s console in an 80s quiz. No. No, nope. the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo was a nineties console. console. The Mega Drive was a nineties console, but the the Master System was an eighties console, and the Game Boy was released in the eighties as well. So, tut tut, tut tut. Actually, yes. isn't. I love the way y'all like you jump on when a question gets wrong, but yes, you are so swarmy when you think you're right. How old is Sharon Eviola? I don't know. Somebody type that answer in there, please. Game Boy wasn't 1990s. Get out of it. 53% said 1983. Uh, boom. Hey, right. Hold on. No, it was released in 1990 in Europe. All right. All right. Okay. It's still the wrong answer. So, yeah. Shit. Get over. It's the clear. <laughs> 51. Right. In 1983, McDonald's introduced which products was it? Chicken Mac Nuggets. That's meant to be Nuggets. Uh, Shamrock Shakes, a Happy Meals, or Mac Pizza. Believe it or not, I actually did get... We, myself and my brother got a Game Boy in 1989. It was posted over by Uncle Bob, who might be watching. He posted it over from Japan when it was released there. Uh, we were the first people, I'd say, in, in Ireland to have a Game Boy. We got it day release and sent in the post straight Game away. Game Boy's in 1989. Your dad is Magnum P.I. Get out of it. I know I'm the most 80s person you could have met that right that year. That year, 67% said Happy Meals. It definitely wasn't Mac Nuggets. It was Mac Nuggets. Mac Nuggets. Mm, I had to double check it myself. I couldn't believe it. And you said Mac Nuggets. That's why I keep saying Mac Nuggets. What is this? A Muggets quiz? Uh, 52. In 1986, which movie starring Sylvester Sloan hit the cinemas? Love lift us up where we belong. Was it Rambo 3, Tango and Cash, or Cobra? People are giving out about typos. Unfortunately, 
sometimes those ones when you type in mac nuggets spell check doesn't spot them because yeah. mac nuggets is supposed to be spelled wrong anyway and, and sharon, sharon is a damn straight some always give me her age um they're pretending they're not googling but they are technically yeah i know yeah oh no idea what's going on rambo 341 cobra 35 it's cobra uh 53 the first woman inducted into rock and roll hall of fame was in 1987 but who was it was it tina turner janice joplin or aretha franklin Rambo 3 has been an answer quite a bit. Yes, but it hasn't been the right one. So what are you, the Rambo counter? Sharon, I get married, lads. You're, you're winding Sharon, me up, you lads. 49 years of age. She'll be 50 in February. Audrey yeah. McDonald says, Mac Muggets, I want a refund. You can have it. I don't care. You can go buy yourself a Mac Nugget. <laughs> sure, kind of. Well, you can't eat McDonald's for another four months. It'll be open next week. They won't. They will. Uh, if Supermax do... opened yesterday, they'll be open next week. Aretha Franklin was the correct answer. Question 54. How many weeks did the Falklands War last for? Roughly. Roughly. Jack Roughly. No, why is there no issues tonight? Because the software developers have put in a lot of effort over the last it week. To this the servers. So for, uh, Ross is watching this. Everybody give Ross a thumbs up there. Ross. Thank you, Ross. Thank you. They can't see him. We can't. He can't see them. But he can see us. Thumbs up. If anything, uh, right, the air one. Ooh. This is a roughly, by the way. The, let's see what people said. 54% said 11. That is the correct answer. It was 10-ish, 11. Um, question 55. In the television drama Dallas, who shot JR? Was it Bobby Ewing, Dusty Farlow, Kristen Shepard, Sue Ellen? Would you believe you're on this to me? I can feel my neck clicking. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting stressed. I'm getting stressed. Remember when you and me sat down and watched each intro from each year and how dramatically they changed. Yes. They can be a disco version there, the early eighties. And then they'd lean heavy on the bass or they'd go in more electric guitar. <laughs> um, Chips. 41%. The highest Kristen Shepard is correct answer. 80 million people watched that episode. Live. 80 and million. it had to be, securely flown across the Atlantic to RTE for it to be shown. It was and the UK, yeah. Because there was betting on. Uh, oh, jeez. Ashley's coming in here now sending us. It was still the wrong answer, Deshling. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, you're still wrong. It, Who's the one of, which was released earlier? The 80s. Was it Bobby Brown, DeBarge, Ray Parker Jr. or Cameo? Come on, it's so ha. hard. Not to say, ha! ha. Ray Parker. Parker Jr. It's honestly one of the greatest sketches ever made. Tom and Craig Yelly shot you. Are. Would you believe me own dog did it to me? It's my own money. I just want to float the farms. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do what I think you did, did you? Any movie recommendations after the quiz? We will give you recommendations afterwards. Um, Ruthless people. Ruthless people. I'm going to see you. 73% said Bobby Brown. Correct. Covered by Britney Spears, wasn't it? 57 which Spaniard won two U.S. Masters in the 80s? Was it? Sevi Ballesteros, Jose Maria Olazabal, Ardi Arnas, or oh, Nick Falco? Yeah, yeah. You can watch it on Google uh, on Google Play or YouTube for two ninety nine. dollars So if, if you want to rent it, there you go. Oh, I'm actually buying stuff. Sue Ellen. Sue Ellen didn't kill her. It's on Google Play. First. Let's have a look. It's on iTunes. said Seve Ballesteros. That is the correct answer. Nick Faldo is obviously not Spanish, lads. So if you're... He's not Spanish. That's... Yeah, but he's he the right answer. He's still there to throw it out. And 11% people still think he's Spanish. So, you know, it just proves it. 
Um, 58. Who beat Carl Lewis in 1988 in Seoul but was later disqualified? Was it Ben Johnson, Linford Christie, Usain Bolt, or Daly Thompson? Someone's oh. disowning me now, are they? For bad spelling? No. She's oh. disowning herself for bad spelling. All right. Samantha White, Nick Faldo, indeed. But 11% of the people picked it. 11% <laughs> of the people went for it. You say both. I know. You we, see, don't... we throw these in there because people see the name. And 1% of the people picked it. So. That's about. That's so. About people. Uh, ben Johnson, Canadian. Great answer. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Linford Christie then got silver. He was moved up from third to second, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 59. In 1987, Madonna filed for divorce for which husband was it? Guy Ritchie, Sean Penn, John F. Kennedy Jr. or Warren Beatty? Boom, 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 boom. Somebody just say, is Belfast an Antrim? Well, you see, the, the majority of Belfast is in Antrim, but parts of it, a small bit of it, is in County Down. But the majority of it is Antrim. Yes. Um, 85% said Sean Penn that was. Correct. Well done. Some people say Belfast wasn't even in Ireland. <laughs> um, <laughs> controversial. People won't know what's going on. I thought he was attacking the Catholics. Weren't you supposed to stop here? No, no, it's the last question in this room. Last question. Which star of Sex and the City appeared in Police Academy, Mannequin, uh, Big Trouble in Little China? Who was it? Sarah Jessica Parker, Kim Cattrall, or Kirsten Davis? Davis. Radio. I'm just going to go into my Facebook again, see if there's messages coming in. One or two messages. God, I'm sweating. You all right? Yeah, no, I just... When the question goes wrong. I know. I know, Colin. The nerves. Me nerves. People, uh, are, people are, are ruthless when it comes to these kind of things. Like, And they'd be in 500 spot and they're still giving out. Well, Neil. Neil. Uh, get on to Neil. Yeah, get it. Right, let's get the scoreboard up there. Let's see who is where. Niall Daly, big jump. Bo on an over Niall Daly. 54 out of 80 questions. Sherman High Basket. Uh, I can never read that. I'm going to scroll down so I can actually see it. Sherman High Basket cases. Shoyman. Um Karen Hamo. Where's, oh my God, where is, uh... oh, Pawn and Neve Riley O'Kane have dropped to ninth. Oh my lord. Um Kevin Conlon's up in the 13th spot. Brian and Katie up in the 12th spot. They're regular quiz winners. They're outside the running at the moment. Niall Daly. They came second before, I think. Uh Colette Daly is down. His wife is down in seventh spot. Um Sinead Halpine is down in 15th. Boom, 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 boom. See anybody else we see down here? Michael Guiney, 28 spot. Not the, not the real Michael Guiney. The Swain family, who won a couple of weeks ago as well. Did they win last week, last Friday? Uh, they're in 31st spot at the moment. Doing well, lads. Doing very, very well. All right, we've got 20 questions after this. Colin, when do we do the next questions? Happen on the bundle? Happen. 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 That's five minutes. That's five minutes. Loads of time. Uh, Samantha White, every freaking quiz, I get 50% correct. Every time. <laughs> Try getting the other 50 right. You'd be fine. Uh, love your questions, Colm. Easy mistake to make. This is only a bit of crack. That's from Lauren Lobo O'Brien. She always says nice things. She's just a nice person. She's she's just got... She's class act. She's just, she's just a class act. I, I, she's getting free pizza. <laughs> <laughs> she only's... Uh, Toasted cheese sandwiches. 
from Okrudis. So I have the crowd data exported for that round. Or for, oh, for the, the round, and I will... It happens, it happens. You know, and I, I'm going to manually go into it. I'm, I'm going to sort it out, and I'm going to, I'm going to find it. <laughs> Evan, are you asking to get clattered? What's Can Evan, you Evan now? To get some more beer from the kitchen, please, lads. Jeez. Please, get out. Death wish. What was the question again? Clubber Lang. All right, I can search for that. All right. Are you looking I, I'm just I'm 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 getting ahead of this situation. I'm oh, downloading the crowd. It's a piece of food. Yeah. It's, it's, not, like, it's not like it's not like I've got a. I've not. It's not like I've got to go through twelve thousand other answers first before I find the correct answer that they answered. So you, this is I'm going through a lot of effort here to make sure you didn't get effed over. And um, Audrey McDonald, brother and sister, are all playing tonight. Doing really well. We are finally in front of them. They are crying. <laughs> What position are you in, though? You have got to tell us where you are. Uh, da, da, I don't think he was. And then he, just he was in Bracken. Talking. He was in Bracken, yeah, which is a completely different show. But Miley and uh, Biddy were in Bracken. So like the characters were brought over from Bracken into Glen Row to make a new show. Uh, they both won awards. Mick Lally and Gabriel Byrne yeah. both won awards for portraying characters, but my the character of Miley when they both won at the same time was for Bracken. And again, if you can prove it within a reasonable amount of time between now and the end of the quiz, I'll get into the data and I'll sort it out. You'll get your points. I can tell how fast you answered a question. So you will get the points based on how fast you answered. So there's no worries. This this is something new that I'm able to do. Ooh, very fancy, Colm. Very fancy. I'm just delighted it's kind of running smoothly enough. It is. I'm very, very happy with that. Lads, we didn't even make it through half the pizza. <laughs> what, was it too much, was it? Oh. Ah, come on. <laughs> Pizza's be grand tomorrow. That'll do you for a week. It's a fine bit of eating. Uh, um, <laughs> I think, I think the Mister T question is wrong. Mister T was in Glenroe. <laughs> uh, I no, don't know. Watch. I, I, Imagine I, I, Mister T inside the pub with Father Devereaux. He, he beat up Miley. Remember, Miley did the dirt. That, that was con that was that was that big. Was so controversial back then. <laughs> oh, that was your man Macaulay Culkett. and the dwarf. <laughs> Macaulay Culkett. Macaulay Culkett. My God, I think I've broken the my computer. There's That's so fine. much. There's so much data. My Excel file is just. Right, yo, um, a minute and a half, a minute and ten seconds. Actually, we're getting this on the road. On the road again. Right? The job offer. He couldn't see himself doing it. Um, great one, Colum Long or Colum Healy. I know, Fidelma, Fidelma, dirty little fecker. <laughs> And the inside oh, in the hay barn. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, my god. Right, uh, we got about thirty seconds before we kick off this next. Look at your phones. Look at your phones. Look at me. I was going looking at my phone. <laughs> then nine days and they're finding Fidelman the hay, and her hair shone red like. Oh. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Right. Scoreboard is going off. Stephen Naylor, my 80s knowledge is atrocious. I'm going to let you do the first 10 questions there, Pat. I'm just going to start one thing, all right? That's fine. Colin. Colin, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Relax. It's fine. It's fine. 
bit of fun. Question 61. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Name the song. Is it Time After Time? Love is a Battlefield. Come on, Eileen. Uh, Ashley Desmond knows onto IMDb's credits. But if you look at the credits, there's only about 20 episodes there. And a lot of the characters aren't named. The credits on IMDb are wrong. Don't use that as the source. Um, it for 20 years until 2001, believe it or not. 20 odd, you're nearly close to, to you know. right, call him. If you're lost and you look and you will find me time after time, eight percent love <laughs> is a battlefield. <laughs> Come on, Eileen. Come on, Eileen. Come on, Eileen. <laughs> Sting off, oh, Sting's back. Sting's back, everybody. Love is a bell. Uh, 62. In 1983, which tennis star announced their retirement at the age of 26? Was it Pat Cash, Bjornberg, or Stefan Edberg? Bjornberg. 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 I'm liking the remixes of Look at Your Phone. We will make remixes. So look at your phone, yo. Um, Sting might do one for us. 58% said Bjorn Borg. Correct. Well done. Number 63. Which 1980s TV show starred Tony Danza? Home oh, across the Tony Danza. Was it Chips, Who's the Boss, Family Ties, or Cheers? Call him at a crush. I did too. Not on oh, Tony Danza. God, I Still do. Still do. I follow her on um, Twitter. What's on? She's a big you my friend. She really doesn't like Trump. Doesn't she? Uh, mm. Correct answer is... Oh, look at that. More people get that one right. It is indeed Who's the Boss. Great job. Um, 64. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your something sure would help a lot. What is the missing lyric from the theme song? You probably said in your head anyway. Is it worries, doubts, troubles? I'm going to wait until it's... Uh, then I'll sing it for you. Handsome man. Lucky the second, your brother said. Tony Danza. Still handsome. Is he? When I saw Pat Cash, I thought Pat Sharp. <laughs> Um, making your way in the world today takes everything you get. Taking a break from all your troubles, Oops. worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? 38% uh, went for troubles, though. I just duetted with my wife. <laughs> Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows. What a, that's great, you Uh, 65. I made it through the wilderness. Somehow I made it through. Don't didn't know how I lost you until I found you. Name the song. Sorry if you hear a dog uh, coughing. My dog has asthma. You laugh. <laughs> Listen. Can't hear it. She stopped now. Of course. She stopped and just looked at me now and started itching herself. Um boom 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 boom. I thought that was an easy enough one, was it? Yeah. 76%, 76% uh, saying I like a virgin. That is indeed a correct answer. 66. Which of these indie movies was released first? Which one of these indie movies was released first? Was it Temple of Doom or Raiders of the Lost Ark? Somebody put it. They're not indie movies. They were uh, blockbusters. What are people thinking? All I can hear is Colm clicking on a mouse. You're meant to be a co-host, not a mouse clicker. Right, I, I've done it. I've done it. Seventy-one percent said Raise of the Last Ark. Correct. Well done. Number sixty-seven. I'm back now. I'm back. In Gremlins, what type of creature was Gizmo? Gizmo. Was he Chucky? 
Gremlin, Mogwai, Ewok. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Ashing Desmond calls, because I'm right again. And then Daniel says, if you were constantly right, you'd be number one. <laughs> Burn. And now the cloth come out. <laughs> uh, 44% Gremlin. 52% said Mogwai. He's Mogwai. When you add water, that's when you become Gremlins. But it, he wasn't. He, he never actually became a Gremlin. <laughs> Oh, no. He didn't. But that's what happens. Yeah, 68. Alf. Alf impression? We know Ashling is. We know his friendly banter. We know that. Get over yourself. Ashling, come on. You come to our quiz regularly. You should know that. Call him. Alf impression. Hey, Willie. Hey, Willie. Hey, Willie. And his hair be like... And you don't ever see the one hand drumming. Was he from Melmac? New Texas, Endor, or Warren? Hey, Willie! If I could catch that cat. He's Rubble back at Pog Farm. Huh? He's back. <laughs> well, he's back in Pog Farm. Pog Farm! <laughs> Let me catch you. Oh, Laszlo said it. That's what I'm... <laughs> wow. Let That's me great. catch you. I can't do it. My kids will wake up. 74% said Melmac. That is the correct answer. Well yeah. done. If you lived out by, uh, I can't even, there was, a, there was a video store in Cork called Melmac. Um, but New Texas is from Brave Star. Endor is from the Ewoks. And Warren is from Bucky O'Hare. So there you go. They're all real places. Um, Alf is from Summer Bay, I thought. Oh, no, you get to your jokes are horrendous. How many seasons of Knight Rider was there? Was there one, ten, or four? There's a picture of him in the car playing Pac-Man on an Atari while the car drives. It's amazing. Question 69. It took about 10 years after it finished. Uh, a film came out called Knight Rider 2000. And you gone, they changed car. Um, let's have a look. Hey, Colm. Smile. Smile. I am smiling. Smile. I know what was actually just said. Yeah. 79% said four. That is correct. Well done. Filmed in hometown. What was? I'm guessing that's uh, Knight Rider. There you go, Bethany. Um, I think she's California girl. Donkeys. Isn't everything yeah. filmed in California really like? Or um, North California, which they refer to as Vancouver. Specific. She's being specific there. Question Vancouver. seven. Which was George Michael's first solo release? Leave the jokes to yourselves. Uh, was it I knew you were waiting I want your sex careless whisper or faith yeah Devin from Knight Rider wasn't he from Cork someone says he's from Craker Road I think so he was the poshest Cork man ever though he was I, I, I'm not mistaken he was oh no I remember hearing something like that before um... and Edward O'Hare yeah he's from Cork there you go. From 22 Quaker Road, Cork. There you go. Um, Craig, oh, I'm answer, from 22 right. Quaker Road. Fearless Whisper. Oh, okay, I'm not doing that one. It's too high for me. And um, that is the correct answer. Oh, my God. Lovely little park. I actually have a picture of the house. He was born in the house. I have to, I got, you're going to have to share my screen. What? Later. Show it later. Later. Uh, 71, you're taking these last 10 questions home. And I'm smiling. In what year did the Wall Street crash happen? So what Jesus. year? All oh, mine is fun and anything soon comes on to you. Death and misery. Collapse. 1983, 1987 or 1980? It was Faith. No, it wasn't Faith. Careless Whisper came out really, really early in the noughties. And if you uh, want to Careless look... Whisper was released as... Yeah. Um, a Wham single and a George Michael single. It's on the Wham Greatest Hits, but it's part of George Michael's. Faith was actually the third one on the list. I Want Your Sex was even the third. It was the third one released. Uh, let's have a look. 66% saying 1987. It was 1987. 72? 
in which US city was Axel Foley a cop before going to Beverly Hills? Is this the Axel Foley quiz? Is it? <sighs> New York, Chicago, Miami, or Detroit? Evan Long says, happened again now with the 5G towers. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I had to mute my microphone. My wife was uh, turning on off stuff with Google. Google. Uh, turn off the lights. <laughs> I oh, paid for that. Off the lights. I paid for that. Uh, oh, no. My phone just... But your phone needs to be unlocked for that. <laughs> <laughs> Detroit. 60% of you got it right. It is indeed the right answer. Aquel. Aquel Foley. 73. Who played the title role in the movie Beetlejuice? Is it? Is it? Don't say it more times. Uh, Ax, Ax, I was going to say Axwell Foley Baldwin. Axwell Baldwin. <laughs> Axwell Baldwin. Gina Davis, Michael Keaton, or Winona Ryder? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. If you ever want to see one of the longest running gags of all time, there was a show called Community. And every season, a character would say just once the word Beetlejuice. And the third season, when they said the word Beetlejuice, they were at a, a party. You don't even see it way in the background. Someone dressed as Beetlejuice just walks past. Ooh. It's really clever. I know you're going to no, I got to watch it for three seasons to see the Beetlejuice gag. Uh, by the way, Susie F. with I think we're watch Beverly Hills Cop. There is a movie recommendation there for you, Evan, I think, was looking for one earlier. Watch one and two and don't watch the others. Yeah. Um, Question 74. Michael Keaton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a creep. Got a creep. Uh, so who was the Launchpad McQuack the pilot for? So who was Launchpack McQuack? I can't say it. Launchpad McQuack was the pilot. Was it your Scrooge McDuck, Chip and Dale, or Donald Duck? Come on. Sorry, you yawn there, people. Come on. Come on. Beetlejuice, great show. I kind of want to watch that now. <gasps> I kind of want to watch all of these things. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think Beetlejuice is. It's very it's good. It is. It's good. 60%. Come on. Scrooge McDuck. 75. Which of these Lionel Richie songs was released first? No doubt someone's going to fight us on this one as well. Uh, is it? Dancing on the ceiling or all night long? Two. Classic bangers of he, wedding tunes. He could have retired directly after those two songs and never made another song in his life. Never. True. Except True. Hello and Endless Whisper needed to be made as well. That's that's Endless Whisper. And, and, sorry, Endless Love. Uh, whisp Careless Whisper's in my head now. Endless Love. He didn't release Careless Whisper column, no. I know. I do, yeah. I gotta have faith in you, right? That you got the right answer. Oh Lord. Um oh look at this. 53 and 47. All Night Long was first by about three years. I think 1983 for All Night Long and Dancing on the Ceiling was 1986, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Have we got to grips with Sharon Neve Yonline being almost 50? <laughs> Hello <laughs> was indeed a stalker song, Daniel said. It, it's a very yeah. strange song. Hello, I used to run outside. Oh, by the way, if you ever know random stuff, look for music videos, uh, musicless music videos. videos yeah. <laughs> you'll ever watch in your life. Um, 76. Gillian Lee always knows these ones. She knows the years. She always has them on vinyl. She gets them signed when she meets the artist. Then, uh, who had a 1981 hit with Jesse's Girl? Is it? Is it? Sorry, I was just messing with stuff. I know. Uh, Rick Springfield, Bruce Springsteen, or Rick Astley? Which one of those three um, people uh, sang Jesse's Girl? Someone's mad to say Monique and Unique over and over again. Monique, unique, Monique, unique. The arsonist had oddly shaped feet. Uh, musicless music videos. Check it out. Um, Gillian Lee. Funny boy. <laughs> 76%. is girl. He went on to be an actor in a television show called Human Target, uh, which only lasted about 12 episodes and then it was cancelled and didn't see much of him after that. Um, 77 true or false the titanic record was discovered in the 80s 
True or false? And they're in the right order there. Bum, bum, oh my God, is that a made-up person? Are we talking about? Talking about? I must have spelled someone's name wrong, and then they're like, oh, it's not a made-up person. Call them spell run, and just keep spelling till you get the joke. What? Run, run, run. Uh, 61% say true, 39% said false. Uh, someone's asking why is true and false the right order around. I tried my best to try and reorder them when I was going through them afterwards. It's a lot of work. You do, you do not know understand how much work goes into these things. Uh, 78. Oh, you thought Rick Springfield was made up. No, he's a real person. Uh, which company invented the disposable camera? Was it? Was it? Nikon, Kodak, or Fujifilm? Run spelled out equals are you in? No, still not getting it. <laughs> you getting a pet? Huh? Are you getting this thing? Evan I Lang? stopped the dog from drinking my cork. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I'm bigger priorities. I think a lot of people are going to go for Kodak, but they're wrong. Fujifilm came up with it first. They released it before Kodak. Kodak brought it out then, uh, and about a year afterwards, they called it the Kodak. Fling, a fling, a fling camera, I think they called it. Tracy Ginty. I mean, Niall says uh, hi to Tracy. She just put the kids back. Niall and Tracy, who are both working in the front line. Well done. Uh, I get you know it, but I still don't understand much about it. Uh, Barry McGigan became the world featherweight boxing champion in 1985, but in which country did he beat Eusebio Pedroza? Was it? Look at that, Pat. I said it like that. Said it. USA, like from wherever the hell he's. I know, yeah. USA, or England, or Ireland. I think Pedroza was from. I think he, Peru or Paraguay or someplace like that. He was definitely. I know he was from South America, but Panama maybe. Like maybe Peruvian. I don't know. Peru. Uh, Eusebia. Eusebia. Pedroza. I'm, I'm googling here. Panama, there we go. Panama, yeah. yeah. Panamanian. He was Panamanian. Uh, they fought in uh, Queen's Park Rangers, I think, the stadium. Um, Horse Park. Yeah. No. Yeah, whatever, but QPR's stadium anyway at the time. I can't remember. Um, and last oh, question. Yeah. Not an 80s question. Uh, question 80, last question in the quiz. Alan Hughes of TV3 fame returned home in a famous 1988 advert, but which product was he advertising? Was it bread, porridge, electricity, or butter? And for a clue, I think I'm going back. Lock this road. There we go. Lock this road. I so well in you. Oh, she's got the electric blanket on. Turn it up to 90. <laughs> I get out the old man United told for him now. Eight fifty three percent electricity, twenty nine percent from butter. <laughs> Look how Irish are you there, Colum? Bread, porridge, electricity. Butter. That's what I thought. Throw people off. But this is this is what really bothered me, right? About the eighties, and when it came to 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 this ad, right? This ad to me made no sense because I don't understand. As there was only one electric. Uh, provider in Ireland at the time why ESB needed to advertise on TV in, in my head I was like this costs money to put on television they had to pay people to be in the ad they had to pay people to put it out on the television and then they had to pay every time to RT to have it on the television and then, then the people would be like why is my bill so high and they're like because we got to make ads about electricity <laughs> so you're like but I don't have any options it's you Thanks, on Column's rants <laughs> you know what really grinds my gears tell you what I don't like about wheelie bins Call him after this. Go bend over and spell run with your wife standing behind you. Yeah, I get it, Evan, but I still don't understand why you're trying to say that to me and you're just being weird. Like Merry Christmas from the ESB. It was, Ashling. Uh, yeah. right, still wasting money. Like AIB. They don't need to advertise. Yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, sort this out. Gillian Cotter. She came nowhere, did she? Sherman Holly oh, Basket Cases. You're in second spot. Uh, they made that up all time. Now, I'll have a look there now, and I'll make sure that anyone who's supposed to will. So, right. These aren't the officials at the moment. I'm saying it's official. Jean Cotter, she's there. Ah, stop! 
now so uh da -da 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 -da. right i can give you the i can give you the bad and the good news if you'd like so give us the bad and the good news uh give me the okay news if if, if are, we, are we going to do you want to call that the official just call it official if people right. want to complain and say listen oh that that thing would have brought me into but if you're looking at it um people want to complain complain we won't be uh, dealing out prizes for the next uh couple of days it, anyway until next so, week until the month. so far it makes no difference column is checking it so if you do have an issue with this and uh you want to check the scores we can go back to you it we'll see if there's a best results ever it makes no it makes no difference go to google the answers well done Column is still staring at that. I'm just seeing all these people's people sending me messages. They're tagging me and stuff. People tagging us. We'll put up your, we'll put up your tags there, Column. I'll put up yours. Column. It, it, I, I, I can officially tell you it makes no difference to the top three and it makes no difference to the people below. Um, even if if you gave anyone points below them, it wouldn't get them close enough to get into the top three. So no one, it makes no difference. The BA question makes no difference. Colin is uh, very worried about these things. Colin has to double check these things. He gets very well, worried. No, no one can complain. If they complain now, they say, "Look, well, I didn't get my points for that one." It would have made no difference. It might have moved you up a little bit further, but uh, it, it it won't make any issue. No, eleventh place. Eleventh place. Let's see who's in eleventh place. Uh, that Shane would be is in Shane place. Really? You want a twenty-five euro voucher? So I'm just going to write your name down. I've got your email address as well, and I'll send you an old email afterwards to the address that you use to log in. We'll also make sure that you do have a pass, just in case you haven't. And 187th is the next on the list, and that and goes to Mary O'Shea. So Marie O'Shea, or Mary, depends on which way you look at it. Marie O'Shea, write your name down as well. You won yourself a 25 euro voucher as well for coming in 187 spot. Um, so, yeah, I, I, know, I, I know there's another team out there will say, well, technically they're in giant 186, but I thought in alphabetical order, they are technically in 187th spot, and Marie O'Shea or Marie O'Shea is after winning herself a voucher for 25 euros. And I'll send you an email after this quiz is done, and it'll take about 24 hours. It's an all for one voucher, and we'll send that on to you. But first, second, and third. And people there now, like this for 40 next week. Like, is there a party? Can we come? Can we stand outside your window? We put us on cake. Um, Adam Fitzpatrick, lads, absolute pleasure as always. 20th spot, we'll take it. I was only fresh out of the words. Uh, of the room in the late 80s. How about a 90s quiz? <laughs> did one. I know, he did, did, he did it too. Um, oh, Fall or Ted quiz on Sunday. Yes, we're doing a Fall or Ted quiz on Sunday if you want to participate. Um, we'll be put tickets up there tonight at some stage or tomorrow morning. We'll let you know. I said, we don't care if it's a small little quiz. We just want to get people involved. We wanted to do something to... Uh, commemorate because we have done so many Father Ted nights. We actually did Father Ted night in the Savoy and had a thousand people in there. It's uh, the the great night night Call him. Uh, we've got to say hello to Ryan in London as well. How's it going, Ryan? Um, what what do we say? Is that the Ryan I know in London? Ryan, oh, yeah. Ryan, hi Ryan. And he said there was no Prince question, so he's gutted. <laughs> Big Prince fan. Um, good to have you on. Thanks everybody on board uh, or joined in tonight. Thanks for playing. Uh, hopefully everything. We 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 do have prize money for the question. Run. It seems to run smooth enough. It's, people seem to be getting the questions and stuff like that. Uh, well uh, done. Uh, there, quiz. There, there is prize twenty. Well done. There is prize money for first, second, and third. Um, so we will send them on. We we haven't done our maths on it. Um, we we yeah. literally because of the amount of time that we allow you to buy the tickets, we don't know how much money is in the, the kitty and how much we have to spend. But it, it roughly be about a hundred euros for first place. So it's not bad. And we'll contact you. So we see how it goes. Uh, can we do a Simpsons quiz in honor of Sharon Neviolin? You're just looking for any excuse just to bring up Sharon Neviolin. We're, we're going to do a Simpsons quiz. We, we, we're not going to be using any branding or anything like that. Uh, all the pictures of us there. And I drew that dreams reality picture just in case anyone, just in case any father Ted person out there in Channel 4 and Hattrick Productions sees it. I took the photograph when I went to visit that house and I drew that. And that's my own costume. And that's Pat's own costume. We are not photoshopped onto anyone's body. Audrey. Smoothie. What the hell's going on? We're, we, we, 
we have less people playing this week a little bit as well. Uh, maybe the quiz questions didn't go people's way. Uh, we haven't done any advertising either because we're scared to go too big in case we, we just wanted to keep it with the people that we are. But we have a regular crowd. We know yeah. ye as regulars now and we're happy with this regular crowd. We don't want to go mental. We do, but we don't want to have to deal with the fallout if it all goes wrong. So you're going to a mental institution. I'd love, I'd love to have gone up to three or four thousand players and 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 it runs smoothly and have us no problems, no issues and stuff like that. Like, but it doesn't uh, sometimes always go like that. Column name the movie. You're going to a mental institution. Oh, anybody, sorry. anybody, anybody came in there? Anybody because and it was in the soundtrack for the movie. It is, You're yeah, going to a institution. Anybody want to guess it? I just said it. What? The wedding singer. You did. You got it. I said it ages ago. I've been saying it about three times. You've been talking oh, over. Oh, oh, look at me. I'm a movie nerd. And, 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 and when, robbed. When Adam Sandler comes to babysit for his brother or his sister, who's married to that guy who's kind of like, you know, he's got that really kind of, and he's inside and he's, she's like, come on. And he's like, I don't know. I can't go. I'm watching. I'm watching Dallas. I think someone shot JR. <laughs> That's a good one to watch. It's not oh. an 80s, but it's an 80s movie. If you know what I mean. Yeah, Wedding Singer. Watch The Wedding Singer. There were cones! Um, that's a good one to watch. Uh, 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 so here's here's the news. Here's the news, right? We're going to keep doing the Friday Night Quiz. We're going to keep doing the Tuesday Night Quiz at the moment. Uh, Tuesday might we might take a break once or twice just to give ourselves a break. We have a lot of quizzes and it can be a bit of a burnout for us on this side as well as for ye. So we might take one or two breaks here and there. But... We are going to keep doing Friday night, but we're going to keep it as general as possible so that everyone can play on a Friday night and not feel left out. Because if we do choose um, if we do choose a subject yeah. that might suit you, you might turn around and just say, look, I don't want to do that. But a lot of people are saying, look, I enjoy doing the quizzes. I like either after a hard, works, a hard week's work or a hard work doing nothing. I just like throwing my feet up on a Friday night and playing, playing a quiz and having a bit of banter back and forth and making and making Cullum's veins pop out in his neck Um and change the color of his face to a bright red. Um, More Vernix for Colin, please. So we're going to keep it general enough on Fridays. We might add in a special round here and there, which is focused on, say, so like a music round, or we might do X, Y, and Z. But we'll try and make it more uh, general. And then we're going to do our little smaller quizzes, like the Father Ted one and the Simpsons quiz and the Brooklyn Nine-Nine and the Tiger King quiz. And we're going to put up a list of them, and we're going to put the dates on there in the Star Wars quiz. And... You can come along and play those if you want to, if that's your thing. Not all of them might suit you. You might just be into Father Ted and that suits you. And you can do it with us on a Sunday evening or a Monday night, whenever we decide to do them. So, uh, and, and let us know. Uh, we'll add to the list. We're going to be doing this for a while and we're definitely going to keep Friday nights going for as long as possible. So, Oh, Kieran Murray was in with his sausage fingers and sausage meat brain. And um, also, um, everybody enjoyed the pizza you're going to be eating tomorrow. Um, if you did cook one, that is a, <laughs> that's Rachel and a pizza man. I want to go halfway through it, lads. Paul, ready, well, lads. We too soon. Top three after two rounds, then fell down. Look, uh, he's now using the ampersand. Look, he learned his lesson. He's, uh, he's ampersanding up now. Uh, uh, yay! Quizzes are the best. Thanks a million, guys. No, thank you. We appreciate you. We do. Seriously, we do appreciate you buying tickets and stuff like that. Uh, and as I said, hopefully we'll be able to do these quizzes in the flesh at some stage. Uh, you should do a version of Ant versus Deck. Pat and Column share the percentage of the quizzers. The loser has to do a dare from the winning team. Done. Oh. We what we're going to do is on Tuesday night, we're going to, uh, we're going to do... 10 questions and then take a break. We're going to break it down into smaller rounds so that we can uh, get more uh, charity donations in, in between and have a few more acts. Yes. So uh, definitely yeah. our Schaefer is going to be playing more or less every week for the next. If you're <laughs> enough. Schaefer, and set up, Schaefer, you set up that Facebook page yet? Yeah. And set it up. You set that up. Set it up. We so will set that up. up. And uh, yeah, we, we, we'll have her every five minutes or her brother or her dad or her cat, which probably he probably plays the bassoon or something like that. Yeah, They're an extremely probably. talented family. Yeah. <laughs> Super quiz. Thanks, lads. You're welcome, Elaine Smith. Look at that. that, that, that photo there. Look at that professional photograph. What? Oh, look. Elaine Smith, is it? <gasps> yeah. Look at that photo shot. Look at that. 
And then we got uh, Paul Prendeville then with just one he took with his phone when he with his beard. Looks like he's that it looks like he, I don't know. Is, is that is that Shane? What's his name? Shane Ward. Shane Ward. <laughs> is that Shane Ward? It's Shane yeah, Ward. Paul Prendeville. You're now being called Shane Ward. Uh, welcome. Uh, so, oh, Shiva, I'll do it now. Okay, I'm sorry. Shiva. Do it now. We told you we'll help you. I'll make you a logo. I'll make. I'll help you. I'll, I'll, make, you a I'll make you a logo. I'll make you a logo. And I'm not going to charge you anything. If I can find a bit of time between now and Tuesday and you want to send me on, we'll make you a little logo and it'll get you up on the site and you can take a photograph of yourself with your own phone. And there, bam, wham, bam. You got yourself a page and we'll get people to sign up to it. Uh, Thanks for the recommendations. Yeah, you've got a recommendation between uh, Beverly Hills 1 and 2, Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2. What was the other ones we said out there? Wedding Singer, Wedding Singer uh, Ruthless People. There was a couple of good ones in there. Coming to Coming America. To America. Coming to America. That's very good. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's past 11 o'clock. I'm guessing yeah. we can get away saying that. Shut yeah. up. Shut up. Just you do. And we ready to Oh, Michael. just for people. So Sunday we're going to be doing that, and then on Tuesday. Oh yeah, we forgot to set it up. Normally the charities come to us, and we do the we do it for the charities. We've chose this one based on donations and people who've asked us to do it in the past. So we've contacted these guys do it for them, and we're going to do a quiz for them because they're exactly. getting close. Tuesday. And this 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 can be done hopefully by. Tuesday or Wednesday, they're they're getting about a hundred thousand a day at the moment. So I think Tuesday or Wednesday, this will be done, and that 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 child will be able to go off and get sorted in the US. Right That's at the moment, um, let's have a look. Goddamn internet! They are at, oh one point seven three zero million, and we know from other fundraisers that we've seen. They're very, very close to hitting the 2.1 million that they need. So um, hopefully in the next week, they'll be able to hit their goal of 2.1 million. Get this. Can he this baby. Look. He, I, 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 like, I think anyone who out there, no matter who you are, like I know there's a lot of charities floating Total around. Ireland. Ireland. I meant to put it up. I, to be honest, there's so much going on. Enable Ireland. Text me. Uh, I'm just sorry, I was going to. Sorry about that. 2,362 euro and 30 cent. So I'm going to put it in the comments. So that, that, I think that from all of your donations now so far, we're I think we're just going over the 14,000 mark, or we're close to the 14,000 yeah, mark. Definitely. So uh, I mean, look. Even if we can only put a thousand or two thousand more in over the top for uh, do it for Dan on Tuesday, we'd love for you if you can share this one out. No matter what happens on Tuesday, if we can get five thousand people to enter the quiz on Tuesday, it doesn't make a difference if the if the system goes down. We will sing, we will dance, we will have a bit of fun. We'll have some. We'll sing, we'll dance, we'll have some bands. How about that? So sing. just get involved. Sing. Sing. Facebook page afterwards. If you can share it out for us and let people know and tell your friends to come along, this one is it's a nice one. It's it, they're all nice charities, to be fair. I, I, I can't, I can't, remember. but this is all just said. Uh, what's good, lads? From Alex Lockheed, your niece wants to know, uh, what's a good movie to watch? I think Wedding Singer wedding again. Singer. Once well, Wedding Singer started now, uh, we finished to be bed for two o'clock, right? So we have to go Sunday, Tuesday, Friday next week. I know it's a lot. But Father Ted mightn't be your bag and you might want to do it. General quizzes on Tuesdays and Fridays. And there'll be a slight change to the format on Tuesday and a slight change to the format on Wednesday. And then Tiger King and all this kind of stuff coming in the future. And I'm, I'm, I'm as I said, I'm not lying. I ordered loads of costumes online. Brooklyn Amazon. Nine-Nine. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And go watch the new episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Colin. Watch I will, Big watch big, watch big. Big's a bit creepy when you look back at it now, Colin. Or, big uh, not aged well at all. It's a great fun film. But it has not aged well at all. Uh, it, it's very, very creepy. Very creepy. Yeah, the woman in that is—it's weird. It's she. She knows at one point, and she still. Yeah, uh, let's not go back into that. Right, Colin, we are going to say goodbye. We haven't changed our uh, credits from last week. We will. I will. I promise. I'll do it in the next couple of days if I have the chance. Uh, we're going to say goodbye. Thank you, everybody, for purchasing a ticket. Helps us to do all this kind of stuff. We'll, we'll see contact our second and third, and we'll send out some vouchers as well. I'll contact uh, 11th and 187th as well. We'll get you sorted out as well, guys. 
Yes, first, second, third, drop me a message and I can sort you out. Um, anybody want to see some credits? We'll see you then. Winning Streak Wave as well, Colin. We're doing for the full credits. Winning Streak Wave. Go! I was looking at my Winning Streak Waves. This is one. And this one was good as well. Whoa! 